hey, what is up? Um, hey, what is up? This is uh, Joshua four nine two, and with uh with the side um with me is uh, Leo. I'm part of the Pearl. I'm team captain for uh, uh, TSU DH's Pearl team, and we are casting today's finals. Uh, and yeah, it's gonna be great to have um everyone here for uh, the finals for um, the Sac State Black versus uh, CSU DH, uh, CSU DH Gold. Um, as we go, as you can see, we're going to start off having uh, with the, the Sac State Blacks with a Sushi uh, Sushi choosing Omen, Katie uh, Katie in with the Killjoy Cosmos N M with the KO. Jet with uh, Kavanar and Griff with Sova. I'm gonna like that. Uh, that's gonna be a great. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna have a great combination for that with the um, one, two initiators with the uh, one smoke. Uh, as the other side, we have Frankie with the uh, Killjoy, Kusho, Ko, Sazu Saiz, with Omen, Evan with Jet, and DCMH with Sova. As you can see, they're both going head on, head on. Uh, see who gets a uh, better positioning here. All it is here is going to be a it um, It's going to be um, See who has better positioning um, And see who can uh, take the crown for today You know what's fairly interesting about this map is that the meta hasn't really changed with agents with the agent picks um, As you can see both teams are basically running the same agents um but we'll see who could actually execute more and like have like better macro play between the teams the macro play ah okay so we're gonna go ahead um uh, looks like uh dominguez is gonna go ahead and start off strong um Having uh, Kusho pushing uh, Catwalk with uh, a good amount of people here. Uh, Cal Caravar uh, is going to get taken down. So is um, Kusho. Before trade. Ooh, aggra um, <laughs> aggressive prize out of nowhere. Well, uh, Saizu for uh, taking Susashi out. Uh, Flinks are coming in though. Uh, having Griff and KDN. Ooh, Frenzy already getting pushed in. All the walking around and gun, but no way, no way to get away from that as uh, Sac State Black will be able to take uh, the first round. Never underestimate the frenzy. Everyone keeps choosing the frenzy, um, and it's a great way to uh, go for the kill position. Yeah, I mean the frenzy is very like. I mean, if you in pistol rounds, it's very meta. I feel like um, you know it's a lot of chip damage, especially with util. You could combine you know the KO. Uh, Molly, and then you know you just push in with close quarter fights, and it's just easy chip damage. Yeah, so we're gonna start off having Kusho uh, peeking mid. It's gonna get smoked down. As you can see, we only get one suppressed from Kusho. Kusho is pushing in tree right now. There's, there's only Jet is holding. Is actually watching door. Okay, Jet's actually flashed right now. Kusho could easily push in and kill Jet. Actually, he pushes. He doesn't go through door. Oh, there's a kill in hell. Let's see what they do here. Isaac going to go ahead and smoke um, Heaven. As for Frankie, he's going to go ahead um, keep in position so they can actually uh, defend Spike. Watching flanks just in case, getting, uh, getting suppressed, gain locations revealed as well. It's getting uh, quite the quite the rush. <laughs> Ooh, and Grip gets uh, gets two kills, kill, uh, getting Frankie and Saizu out. Um, good positioning for Griff right there. It was a D uh, it was a pretty good uh, eco round for uh, DH. I mean, you know, you can't. It's really hard to win against pistols when they have like. Like Spectres and the Bulldog, and... but now we have the they could buy. So let's see what Sac State does to counter their disadvantage. As of right now, uh, DH will be able to have full buy here. 
Uh, Evan will be having small shields, but that's going to be all right. Uh, on the other hand, this is going to be a great advantage for DH that so can um, go ahead and push with a full utility. Um, as you can see here, now they're now they're going to go ahead switch the positions to B site. Uh, three hit, three hitting mid, and what a great way for Frankie to hit, um, get Griffin down. As you can hear, they have turret down, destroying everything, but ha hasn't blocked. It gets uh, blocked either way. Has full position of uh, full sight. I've been checking, uh, checking around just in case. Now uh, Frankie's gonna go ahead and plot the spike. On the other hand. Lucia's gonna go ahead, um, gain gain a position. Sizey with the front, uh, with the flank, getting free, getting a free kill position. They're actually giving up mid market right now, but actually no, Seizu's holding market. But they're all going to lane. The, I think they're playing for KJ's lineups. I think they have KJ lineups. One enemy remaining. Oh, it's gonna go ahead. And this is what what a great way to um, start off the whole buy round at the same time. Gonna have ADN with the Bulldog still. Who knows what um Sac State uh Black will actually be able to do. But now they're gonna be able to come back with um full eco uh, full eco with um Full, uh, full, uh, full utility. <laughs> but who knows if they're gonna go ahead and do the same thing? Uh, still same, still same setup with the uh, with having uh, KDN and uh, Griff um, having B. Um, still same setup. But DC, <laughs> DCMH are getting the pick. This is actually a must-win round for Sac State. Um, if they lose this, their eco is really going to hurt. Let's see what they can do. Kusho is actually baiting someone to swing mm. here for main. Oh, yeah, there's one. There's only have one position. Getting smoked by Susashi. They're going to go ahead, rotate. Frankie, Saizu, so as... Evan, um, being a little bit of a late runner, <laughs> but they do not know that it's coming. They only know that one. They only probably know you that um, they switched already. Uh, Frankie already going ahead to put the po uh, put the ulti in, uh, checking uh, so checking the side just in case near market. Ooh, getting one down. Is able to is able to get one pick. Casey's having stuck one. Full well, house right now. I wonder if they clear. Yeah, they're gonna clear. Getting that, getting that clear just to get one down. Now, now they're gonna plant. Oh, they're planning on site. This could be wild bangable though. It's actually going ahead, still, still in position inside market. Having uh, CT for Cosmos, gonna go ahead, probably check in. Uh, gets a peek, already gets Evan down. What a great pick for him. Goes to check knife, gets flashed in. Not able to see, but all, but now the uh, uh, both both uh, Cosmos and Susashi get down. Able to start in, and we'll be having a timer. Early timeout. I mean, it. I mean, it's expl uh, understandable, you know, because now their eco's hurt. They got to figure out what they could do to like gain more momentum. Because it's really hard in the game, right? Where you're down in eco. Like, Eco is like one of the mini games of Valorant that you have to like win and focus on. You no, know, definitely. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what um, Sac State Black will be able to do. They're probably gonna. They're probably gonna go ahead switch positions. Uh, uh, so we'll be able to see what they can counter from what uh, DH is doing. So far, so far, I do love the way that they're um having to like 
position themselves specifically with um having uh kusho having to bait them out but then like bringing them back uh switching uh switching sites will be able to um like confuse the other team as you can see now we, we might be able to show that they did switch positions uh this time uh Can uh canavar canavar is actually going to be switching with b site with um uh griff this time it's going to be switch uh this time he's griff is going to uh watch cat near mid it looks like sack steak right now is trying to gain a main control i mean they're taking a really huge gamble but they need it right they're rushing in dh is full on five man rush a or b evan gets the pick there to show getting full sight on the get-go here we go Jeff is gonna go ahead probably gonna um wait for market who knows what he's gonna do so sashi's gonna go ahead with mid um chance of having to flank now seeing some peaks here there's gonna be there's gonna be cosmos getting that one pick Oh, Griff getting Evan down. Oh, stiff. There we go. Griff also getting down by Saizu. What a great way to have their positioning. Having to have, um, like full, uh, having full defense for every, like everywhere, just in case there's a flank or, uh, see who's there, like see who's in, uh, like market or something. What a great way to actually, um, catch up with the leaderboard. Two and three at the moment. This time, this is going to be a bit, a bit awkward for B site as they, as only, as only KDN is going to be there to watch. Um, B site three just watching main catwalk. What, what a gamble there. Kavanaugh with an off taking DM, DCMH down. Oh, might be a chance to like flank in who knows um now smoking mid able to go ahead daizu with a uh, frankie those kusha at the same time do they know that they'll be going to be site i have the um her is still kurt her is still active well uh, kdn is here their b site Okay, everyone's gonna go ahead and rotate in, uh, rushing in. Be careful, be careful of uh, KDN having knife in. All right, ulti. KDN getting one down. Ooh, Kusho also taking them down. Cosmos as well. Gonna be a two v three here. Two full, two, uh, three full. HP gonna watch flank. Ooh, mm, is, this is winnable. This is winnable. Might be able for Saizu to get uh, not one but two. They have a huge flank. They are, they're not aware. They're not aware of the uh, old Foreman ult. Like, what a great way to get them down. One, and one. Kusho yeah. gets not gets <laughs> not one but two down. What a great play from Kush, uh, Kusho. Kusho, get, Kusho getting uh, two people down. I, I, what a great film from Saizu to get that one pick just in case uh, uh, Kusho gets down from right side. It was the fact that uh, Sac State Black was unaware of Saizu's um, positioning. Um, they probably would have thought of, probably did not worry about the ulti whatsoever, but here we go. Full on rush in, having a Marshall. Marshall one, shorty incoming from, <laughs> from yeah, DCMH. They gotta be careful here. Jet has a shorty. Evan the is smoke. able to push it, gets it in. Smoke actually gets traded, but Evan. they get sight. Saizu and uh, Evan's gonna go ahead. Um, be careful of Evan's gonna be careful of Heaven. ADN's gonna go ahead. Be um, be part of Heaven. Griff is gonna be watching Catwalk, being extra aware, having full line position. Now being able to get smoked, it's going to be able to 
But the recon arrow. One enemy remaining. Unaware, Sizer gets the pick. It's blinded. Getting position. Nowhere to be found. Griff on the other hand, a rat. What a great um, blind blind headshot. Although Evan takes him takes Griff down. Damn right we're crushing it. Oh, I keep thinking of uh, like Griffin <laughs> with Griff's name. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's close, right? It's like... Yeah, but you know, he, like Griffin, he's going in. Like he's he's like having a lot of um love intel coming. Especially for de uh, especially that he's doing this for defense, but at the same time, DH is also um, having a um, a streak going on here. Might have max econ soon. Getting the knife in with uh, Evan taking it down. Uh, this time we have Next stage trying really hard to contest a main uh, with that one way and KO. They know that there's two people there. I wonder if Evan's gonna actually execute. There's a he's getting ready to flash right here. Ooh, Ooh what what a late response from Evan. Going ahead, Kusha's gonna take Sushashi, but Cosmo gets with three down. What a good play from him. We be able to get four, but that shut down. Now able now DH is able to get spy uh get spy planted. Will they be able to get the uh flank? Ooh, the the peak they saw the new was able to gets the TP just in time while they be able to get the intel. Not so. Dude, having coming from nowhere, KDN and Kav uh, Canavar. While they be able. Daisu gets the pick. He needs to go help uh, Frankie ASAP. Ooh, Frankie one. should tell. Him. Canavar has to be has an op here. It's gonna be kind of <laughs> hard for retake. Let's see what he does. Let's see. Oh, he's gonna, it looks like he's they're gonna save the op. Yeah, he's gonna save the op. You know, that's quite inter that's actually quite interesting. It's the what was that the season the season three skin op? Yeah, that's pretty nice, huh? Yeah, I just like <laughs> yeah. I, we gotta pick, we move I used to be addicted to it? <laughs> or like a valid. Once but, they got the pick off Griff from the flank, I feel like that was such a totally winnable situation, right? Because they could easily, easily got sandwiched into that situation and they could have lost. But since Saizu just, you know, outgunned Griff there, there's one. So they're still, still, still doing the same, uh, same still staying line, uh, uh, still the same lineup. Um, having a KDN. Uh, east side this time they gotta be careful Kavanaugh with the off but they're going to go ahead and rush like in taking it taking down uh only one one of uh Dominguez down Tusashi getting a pick Evan's going to go ahead take the off oh you know what happens when the jet has you off you can't get away from that it's over will they be able to halt here to anti-plant but I don't think D DCMH gonna go ahead try to figure out where to plant the spike, but now they actually get it. Recon, um, the there's gonna go be a pick from Evan. What a what great execute, way! Execute, right? <laughs> uh, great, what a great, what a great start for uh, DH27. Um, if we uh, as we could check. Um, that's at the moment we are in great <laughs> it's about the omens oh wow I didn't, th I didn't think that through but um yeah they're gonna have they're gonna have to be um kind of rushing in for this economy as you can tell they they do not have much here but they're still full buy for DH um as you can tell Griff is gonna be uh, having a marshal here, pe uh, peaking. So actually, it's kind of like they're they're like both aggressive yet defensive, like passive. At the moment, um, they are being very very passive over here, um, waiting for the peak. 
as you can tell, the so the Sova uh, owl is gonna go ahead. Um, only checking a side. Just checking a line. sides. See if they take wine. Oh, if they get wine. But Frankie does get it. So we'll be able to have DH taking one uh, Susashi down. I was able to rotate. But will they actually catch up with no time? They're still looks like they're gonna have um Looks like <laughs> looks like KDN as always gonna go ahead. Game pushed in as always. Griff is there just in case, but still out smoke uh still smoke they won't be able to see. Taking turret down, but KDN KDN takes Frankie down, so is Griffin taking uh, Evan down. Another kill with the Stinger! I hate that gun so much. <laughs> <laughs> but gets detained either way. Uh, Kusho taking Kavanaugh and KDN. Saizu, you know, you, you always have to... It's a 1v1. Does he have enough time to plant? Does he have enough time? He gets it. Flashback. Will he be able to hey, know? Oh, the flash in. comes in! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure was uh, the pressure for uh, Kusho was like kind of there. He could nice try, nice try. But Cosmo, Cosmo's gonna go ahead, clutch it up. <laughs> there was a lot going on there for um, for Sac State Black, but was able to um, resolve resolve it by <laughs> resolving it either way, gain the win for the round. Looks like they're able to buy guns now due to uh, uh, winning the round. They actually, they actually needed that. Took quite, took quite uh, a gamble there, but either way, now able to uh, catch up with the gun, uh, gun, uh, gun utility. So they have two. Their sex is contesting mid heavily with Jet and Silva. And now, but Cosmos, Cosmos gets... is getting three down. What a great, what a great, what a great peak for him. He's gonna go ahead and watch, um, watch that, um, line. Pain. But uh, Sushashi there. Who knows what? They're gonna go, go get some intel, dude. They see it. Griff does not check ca near catwalk. But Kavanar is gonna go ahead, taking the pick. And not one, but two, taking Frankie down as well. I think that was a great position for uh, having Kavanaugh and Griff watching mid, because usually DH would uh, watch watch flanks usually, uh, yeah. just in case. But this time they they rushed they ru they went ahead and rushed in. Yeah, they pushed that one way, which is very dangerous, right? That that's what pushed the momentum of that execution. Claw through them. Yeah. All right, so this time we're not they're not going to try to uh, be aggressive with a but this time B More more of a push over here. We go uh, Having their presence uh, shown Aim backed up uh, destroying uh, the door for, for market. Oh Was not able to see peak but was not able to see Evan. No, he didn't he couldn't see Evan at all See if he's kind of is going to try to clear him. He, I, I feel like he knows he's there, right? He's going to try to clear him. Yeah, he knows. Ooh, Kavanaugh gets, gets that one down. So is Sasashi with the flank. Ooh, that was a great positioning. DCMH still taking a uh, shutdown for Kavanaugh. Sasashi's going to go ahead on um, going for... Um, yeah. Uh, watching CT with the uh, Cosmos. Getting the head again the wall headshot there. Frankie on the other hand is gonna go ahead, gets a oh, peek with uh wrapped around dice just to kill him, you know. Yep. Kusho was just distracting him, waiting for Frankie to take the execution. What a play, what a play. Where's that? Uh offside. Where's Sasashi's at? See who's that? Uh the omen. Wait, no, that's B. Never mind. Oh my gosh. So that's, it's called CT. It's called CT, bro. C no, 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 no. Okay. Mid market. Is that mid market? Yeah, mid market and logs. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I was, 
was watching movies at tea. So, yeah, like, but, <laughs> so now we're on the other half now, and let's see how DH executes defense well. It's interesting to see how a, uh, Frankie is set up in A. But it looks like Sac State is pushing mid heavily, aggressively. Griff kills Kusho at tree. What happened? From the looks of it, Sage is going to go ahead, uh, wait for their positioning. Turret being placed down. Sage is holding his uh, godly flash. Let's see if, what they can do from here. <laughs> Uh, that flash is insane, man. Like, he cannot. Oh, no, yeah, him. definitely. Uh, uh, Kaden gets Evan at mid. Yeah, they're gonna they're go ahead. Mid. Yeah, they're gonna go ahead and push mid. Uh, who... Ooh, the flank coming out of nowhere. Ooh, Susashi getting the getting the pick down from uh, Saizu. Cosmos in the other hand. Just pushing in. Mid was their wow. mid was their position. Frankie. Also getting uh, taken down. But the positioning for mid was amazing to look at for uh, Sac State Black. What a great way! What a great uh, play for them, having having them to be able to get the uh, get the round. They know they noticed how DH was able to. <laughs> um, be able to position themselves to really just defend, but not able to uh, clear it out. Evan here with the sheriff. Gonna oh. get the pick with the sheriff. Now they're gonna push in. Shorty play from Saizu! Got him in the arc. Let's go ahead and take down the, the, uh, the shot, shotty. Dusha on the other hand. Be able to push in. Evan's gonna. Oh, Frankie gets the pick! Cosmo uh, taking down Frankie down. ADN uh, taking Kusho. PCMH. The shorty play. Oh. Nice try, nice try. It was a it was a great NT for DCMH. Only the positioning could uh for Cosmos. Would have been better. Okay, so as you can tell, it's it's like the same place for like Sac State. They're gonna go ahead having Frankie, um, with the same uh, lineup. Like, be careful with the mid um, mid market. Uh, looks like DCMH is gonna go ahead this time. Gets uh, the recon. Will it be able to get uh, some intel? No, not so. ADN on the other hand is gonna go ahead watch flanks just in case with Altera as well. Oh, but catwalk is open. Yeah, the smoke the smoke does clear them out though. They're gonna go ahead and rush in. Evan on the other hand is gonna try attempt Evan, for a flank. Evan needs to be careful here because KDN is actually late lurking. Oh, that's what's gonna kill on Evan. Griff yeah. on the other hand gets a trade for the Ku uh, gets a trade for Kusho. KDN is slowly going up the market. Going Let's see if uh DCMH clears. But the CMH will be able um uh, be able to know that uh, KDN's there. No, no even, not yeah. so. The timing couldn't uh is so impeccable for uh Sac State. Able to get the spike down because of Saizu. KDN's gonna go ahead attempt to get uh the spike. Getting spiked down. Turret uh taken down. There's a one way here on tree. Now they know though, like he's untreed because he shot the turret. Frankie's holding tight. Evan. Control. Will we peek left or right? Who knows? And he slowly Ooh, looks gets, away and gets picked off. Ten seconds it's left. KDN down. Will there be enough time for him to plant though? That's the real. Ah, uh, yeah. Now he has to rush in. Oh, does he have enough time? Spike he ten. does. Oh. And KDN gets a clutch. What a great, what a great clutch from KDN. That was very, that was very short timing for KDN. It was 
like close to urge just to plant the spike, but trusting his gut and having to clutch that round. Unfortunate for DH though. I mean, up close. It is seven and eight. Having uh, Cosmos, <laughs> Cosmos and KDN coming back. Uh, Sizing Frankie. This is just a battle with the, as usual, people say battle with the KJs. You know, like who, who has better positioning? Uh, so as uh, everyone else. This time it's gonna be a little bit different. D DCMH is gonna go ahead. Uh, having stink. Oh, do they know? Saizu could not get uh, Kavanaugh. KDN going to take uh, DCMH down. Going push in fully A. Side. KDN, on the other hand, is going to do the same uh, same uh, strategy. Watching mid. Being careful. Evan, on the other hand, is trying to attempt to get uh, a sh uh, at kill here. A pick. Not oh, able to he's... know he was going to try to get the knife. No, <laughs> Susashi gonna go ahead and take the sheriff down. That was just unfortunate. He just had to reload with that um, sheriff, or he could have picked up the other sheriff right and killed him in there. But it was just unfortunate. Timing uh, coming out from Zack State back. back uh hopefully dh also use that time for the timeout to uh see their positioning as this is also tied up um not knowing how to um uh, counter back or counter attack with this um push for Zack state and it's always a scent that always does this too but um here we go uh full buy for everyone at the moment uh, Kidian doesn't look like it. it looks like he only has a sheriff though. Uh, smoke coming in for a split on um, a site. Um, looks like they're going to be attempting a, uh, a who knows. Griffin Tsushi is going to be the only ones um, attempting to peak mid. On the other hand, no. Uh, Avenar is going to be peaking or uh, actually walking catwalk. Uh, no one's not watching uh, except for Kusho. Does he know that would be able to show? You should run. Looks like, looks like there's gonna be attacker Kyojo KDN going going ahead pushing in, uh, getting some presence in with a knife from uh, Cosmos. Full on attack. Here we go. Will they be able to do something about this? They have full. They have full sight. They have not planted spike yet. Will they know? Will they be able to get uh, one pick? Well, that answers my question. Yes, Kusho does get one down. A game wall, um, wall headshot. Also, Saizu too. Kusho, Frankie getting one down. Kusho getting the triple kill. And Griff going to take a DC wow. image. Saizu ca uh, canceling them out. This is excellent execution, right? <clears throat> one of, oh, yeah. Go ahead. No. I, I liked how they uh, cleared tree, like they pinched them and cleared tree to win that um, retake. That was an excellent retake on the H's half. Yeah, that was, yeah, like a, uh, like, like a uh, full execution. That was a great, yeah. that was great. It looked like, and I'm pretty sure it all sounded like they were all trying to go and retake from heaven, and I think that's why Sac State was mainly concerned from heaven because they thought um, they were gonna do that. We'll see what type of adjustments uh, back state does from here. It looks like it's a default. Another. It actually, it's not a default. They're containing the main right now. Oh, not the judge. Uh, these guys going to take um, Avenor down. Looks like they're going to be waiting patiently on the main. Cosmos also watching flank as well. What will DH do here? Only two in position. Is, KJ is going near tree. She, there's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of control here. Let's see what happens when Kidian's going up to heaven. Let's see. Kusho knows. Kusho can hear. 
But Frankie puts down a turret to help Rakusho to swing. <laughs> they cannot go heaven. <laughs> it should, they're waiting patiently to get KD in. But the way it, but they're just left. here to play time here, really. What will they're going through a, a main right now. H will um, probably get Cosmos there. There the you plant, go. They're getting the plant down. Let's see. At the moment, it's two, uh, Sashi and KDN. Ooh, there goes Frankie's ulti coming in. Having to suppress down, letting know their presence. Griff getting one, but uh, two kills, taking Frankie and Kusho. Evan with the. Evan! <laughs> DC Venture with Griff, uh, taking Griff down. Saizu taking Susashi. Uh, will be able to. Uh, Cosmo getting the flash in. Will he be able to rush in? Oh, no, not so was, fast. Yeah. DCMH getting. Um, he was expecting the flash, so he just quickly saw the flash and turned around. Great execute. <sighs> DCMH getting. What a, a great highlight for um, having two judge kills, especially uh, switching for a va uh, Vandal. What a great play for him. And uh, you you can't you can't uh, ever doubt the judge that um, you can just shoot from anywhere really. Oh yeah, the judge is the best gun in the game, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's I'm like kidding. it's like so <laughs> it's so it's so good as a shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Like too many bullets going like going around your whole body. Like, yeah, you, how are you supposed to get away from it? Ooh, getting yeah, into from mid. Yeah. What a great, what a great um, recon. Kusha holding tree, but Griff is on top of the box with Cannabar. Ooh, Ooh well, Griff Kusha action the from Cap, uh, Kusha. Getting another one, getting another one to see Griff. Not able to know where he is though. He knows he's around there because of that dart, but. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he has patience, right? Now. Okay, two and two split here. Uh, looks like they're going to try to plant um, right at B, but there's so much, there's so much utility being used, especially that Frankie is alive. But here we go. Saizu is going to go ahead and take one down. Saizu, Griff on the other hand, ain't taken down. Uh, taking down uh, Evan. You see him H moving everywhere. Able he must uh, ha have the lineup position. Not being careful, KDN. Uh, They're oh, pushing KDN. mid right now, but the alarm bot is able to tell him. Oh, the alarm bot lets him know that they're in mid. Where are they gonna push to market or? Are they gonna fall back? Oh, they have enough time. They don't, doesn't look like no. They're... They don't have enough time to plant. That's what they're going Unfortunately, to be, we have to be saving uh, for eco. Another way, another day, or or DH. There's a time to be patient, and like it's good and bad to be patient, right? Like they just took way too long to execute their play for Sac State. Every time I see Frankie's gun, it does look sick. No, oh, the I like arcade the, bundle. I like I like that uh, arcade bundle. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, but, the bundle is expensive though, you know. But. Yeah, but me for me, I like uh, all those games specifically. It has like has a has a cool rhythm game. Like you can oh, just play, yeah. like you can play as you can play Valor as a rhythm game at this point. Like like tapping head like tapping heads. It's like Osu. It looks like Sac State's going A main five man rush. Let's see what they do here. It's really interesting. Here we go. They might be waiting for passive, but here we go. So, uh, so Owl getting their presence. We didn't push in. Size is getting one. Oh, gets uh, shut down by Cosmos. Getting uh, not only Saizu, but Kusho. Evan, on the other hand, here we go. He, ha he has it uh, off. He has to be careful. There might be a chance of um, a flank here. Oh, not being paid attention to Catwalk. Not knowing where it is. DCMH. Not getting, not getting anyone. Oh, this is a really. Oh, Griff is actually being there. No one's not, no, not, no one's not gonna know. Evan, on the other hand, gets shut down. Susashi gang, uh, gang DCMH. Griff is still there. Late there it is. The... Wow. 
I did not think that was actually... I thought PH was going to actually execute and like hold it down easily. And I thought Griff was going to um, come in really late, but he came in right on time. A great timing for Griff. Uh, Griff. The get uh, two kills. <laughs> Let's see. All right, looks like they're going to be going ahead. Um, try uh, switching positions, but this time Cadian's going to go ahead. Um, watching mid uh, from catwalk. Might be a chance to have um, a different position here. Kusho's getting, um, spreading out bullets. Cosmos and Susashi are going to go ahead, probably go are going in cosmos gets the uh, turret down knowing their intel they're gonna they're knowing that they're gonna um having them to rotate three people are near a site Ooh, but either way kavanar mid this might be a problem yet uh frankie is actually gonna have what a challenge here oh, and ah. what a great peak for Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh did moving. not see Evan whatsoever. Heart clears. Evan, Ooh, Evan, Evan gets one down. He's able to get Kavanaugh. Oh, Kadian pushes in. Evan didn't even get to see Kadian push the tree. Lucio was trying to go ahead and flash mm -hmm. in, but wasn't able. Cosmo sh uh, shutting him down. Saizu, on the other hand, getting taken down by Cosmos once more. Also, it's on Greek. Headshots. Is Sashi gonna go ahead and TP? They're not gonna know. Griff is on the other hand when positioned. Oh, Ooh. what a late lurk with the op. Fair play from Griff having op. Literally made. Um, literally made. Kusho. Um, having to. <laughs> Don't know where to like pick like pick and choose really. Yeah, and like you see how like Sachi was doing double TPs just to confuse where he was at. So like that was a lot of pressure too. Because essentially you don't know where the omen can TP, right? Like you could just hear it, but you don't know exactly where. Ooh, Ooh what a flash the coming in for uh with the uh, Kusho uh Kusho and Evan. Gets the off too. Did not know. I forgot that Griff actually had the <laughs> off. All right, let's see. Now they're pushing a main. Let's. Game one. De oh, size are getting They have pick. so much numbers. They back state could plan it, but they gonna be hard for them to defend site with just two people. Two v five, right? Yeah, they don't have off either, so this is gonna be extra complicated for them. Oh, but Katie and Sashi. Oh, the timing couldn't be any worse. And DCMH getting <laughs> the execute. Yep. Oh, that was a close call. <laughs> that was a close call. <laughs> Match point. Here we go. It's ten and twelve. Man, the time goes by. You can see. Um, looks like Sac uh, Sac Black will be able to have enough. Uh, econ for this, but it's going to be hard to push in, especially that DH is actually able to know what they're doing. Ooh, but will it be? Will one of them be able to watch mid? No one's not watching mid. It just looks like a full execution for um pushing uh B site. There it is. Plant the uh, KJ ult here. They're gonna push. Silver drone clears everything. Let's see what Michael does with that guard. Does he get scams? He gets three. One. He gets three. Three, there yeah. you go. And looks like they have full full position, not only for main, but also for uh, B site. Four in sight, that's going to be yeah, they, have, they also have Sova ult here. Let's see what they do with that. I mean, they can't really retake because KO's ult is popped off. Multiple in bow house. There's a one way here on stairs. Oh, Taken down by Su Susashi and Saizu as well. 
They also have Sobold here. This is really tough on the Ooh, HP, Frankie yeah. going ahead. Very tough. Very tough retake. I was about to say, Kavanaugh didn't have enough to uh, buy a gun. I know no one was buying it uh, for him, but now they're able. They barely have enough um, for shields and everything, but now they do. For sex state? Oh, uh, yeah, for sex state. Now they're just able to fully buy. One of them have an op, who knows? But I don't think it's not enough. But here we go again. They're going to, they're going to try to, uh, the same strategy once more. Game presence. <laughs> Gavinar. So is KDN. ACMH. Having full full position for main. Back state brought out the Odin. You see that? They said it's Odin time. Wait, one of them has an Odin. <laughs> That's kind of bad. <laughs> oh, either way, one of them. One of them does have an op, I believe. I mean, DH has three, three olds here, right? Ooh, what, a, what a, what a peak for DCMH. It's Griff out of the box. Doesn't get anyone on the dart, but let's see what they do. Cosmos. Oh, KDN and Kavanar. Frankie Jiggle peeking from mid. Back state with mid control right now. AJ's a little low. Ooh, this game tucked in. Oh, someone's even flanking uh, for spawn to defend to spawn KDN. Will he be able to take down uh, Evan? Who knows? But Kavanaugh, on the other hand, gets Kusha down. That's going to be a big problem for DH. Will be able. KDN gets Evan. Oh, freaky gets one down. We'll be able to shut them out. Ooh. He wasn't able to get. Um, now it's a one v one. If Caesar could get a gun. He has full util here. If he gets, oh, oh no. well, it's like Cosmos is gonna go ahead, making it to where uh, it's gonna be overtime. Overtime. That's unfortunate. But anyways, here switching sides. What will DH do here? They did have a pro they did have a problem in the beginning of the round, but will they be able to keep their streak going for um attacker side? Easy and with ascent here, it's also a bigger issue because they're both the same team and it's just whoever has um, better positioning and um like a better control over the uh, site. Going ahead. Griff gets a pick with the Odin. Oh no. Oh, no. Evan's pushing it mid market really aggressive with the flash. So getting flushed in. Evan. Oh, Evan. Oh, Evan almost getting taken out. Like Do the they same. know that Griff's in lane right now with an Odin? Do they know? Oh, he drops down. They'll be able to see him. Well, Kusho gets him down. Oh, wow. What a clear. So, has all positioned. It's a 3v4. Good market one in CT. KDN probably has a chance. Who knows how he has to turn it down. Saizu is holding main. He has flash here. Let's see. With, wow. with the TP, let's see what he does with the flash. He flashes for lane or um, market. One enemy remaining. CMH getting KDN down. There's only one person down. Oh, oh. Cosmos. Well, Saizu gets uh, Cosmos either way for the trade. The DH. They executed really well on attack. It lo literally, that was their, you know, half. It's just on defense, they're struggling a little bit. Let's see what they do if they change their game plan up to stop Sac State's attack plan, you know? Yeah. Especially that, um, that's how that's how they made um, Sac State be able to come back. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Having both having both teams the same uh same um uh, same team same team um team comps, it's just really attacker side really, but uh here we are having Evan with the op, what a great uh great way to keep it watch. Oh, Kavanaugh gets, gets him a... down. 
Oh, he takes down the operator down from catwalk. That's gonna be that's gonna be really unfortunate for DH. Oh Kavanaugh might be able to take the op too. But will Kusho be able to pick him down? Griff going ahead. Cheeky, uh, keeping their peak. Ooh, will they be able to get the Oh, okay. Oh. Guys are gonna go ahead. Still keep an eye on watch. On tree. He needs to get one more. Kusho Ooh. with the kill on tree. Now it's just 2v2. Let's see. Easter Mage with the recon. Oh, what a great Dude. way! Oh, nice. nice! DCMH nice. will be able to get the win. How would it? But what a great, what a great way for DH to start off. Uh, it had a little bit of struggles from here and there, but now is able to get the first uh, win for the round. Such a nail biter, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be setting our next uh, game in a bit, so we'll be right back. And we are back. Uh, we actually have a uh, another caster. Uh, and would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Dim. I'll be stepping in for uh, Dingleberry this map. Looks like the map is going to be Pearl. We have Suchai going on Viper. KDN looks like they're going to lock in KJ. Cosmos is going on KO. Canavar is going back onto Jet. And Griff is switching out Silva for Astra. Looks like they're going to go for a double controller setup. Meanwhile, uh, Crim Gold, not Crimson, is going for uh, Frankie's gonna go on controller this time when he was on KJ for Ascent. Kusho is going on to uh, Gecko when he was on KO. Seizu, who was the Omen, is going on to Sentinel um, as KJ. DCMH is going off of Sova to Phoenix, and Evan's going off of Jet to Astra. Looks like they're also rocking a double controller setup. It looks like from the last, um, your agent. from the last, uh, last round, it looks like, uh, Sac State's not going to be, uh, changing their, uh, team cup as much, but there's going to be more, um, yeah, there's more control now for them, especially that it's Pearl. They gotta be, they really gotta be careful, especially that, um, they have to be careful with, uh, long, with long for, was it A-Site? Um. A or B, like it's going to be a uh, huge problem for them. At the same time, we're actually having a different kind of. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see um, new uh, new agents for uh, DH, especially that um, they're playing the new ones, uh, especially like uh, Gecko and Arbor. Like you barely you barely see them, but now they're just like really good in terms of. Um, the way they play especially with the wall for harbor and um initiating for gecko like especially gecko is like so good. Mm -hmm. he's so yeah. good you can do a lot of different things i think a lot of it's going to revolve around astra's ult since it blocks off basically half the map depending on where you put it and it covers sound too you can't hear anything on the other side of the wall and it looks like currently um Gold is going to be stacking more towards B, B long, while um, they're going to have Evan on Lurk. Meanwhile, uh, Sac State's going to go kind of a default, trying to just make up space on, on the map. Let's see if this first conversation between Evan and the Viper works out for Evan here. Ooh, the Viper's hiding in a corner. Did you see him? If Oh, unfortunately, the Viper gets to pick on Evan with two headshots. Dang. Let's go ahead. Uh, you go pick this. Mm. 
DCMH. Gonna go ahead. Um, still keeping <laughs> the peak. Looks like uh, smoke getting a hit from uh, getting hit for Griff. Mm -hmm. It does look like uh, gold is gonna work back. As you can see, it looks like they split up. Um, but that lurker in mid, um, Su Chai on Viper, might get these two kills, or at least get one before he gets traded by the other. Oh, unfortunately, he turns around and that lets gold get the pick on him. Falling back to reunite with the team, so it's a 4 e 4 this time. Yeah, well, great great uh, pick from Frankie. Mm -hmm. Frankie's putting up his uh, wall. Control site. You know, it looks like Sac State's playing for retake here. They're not really trying to contest it, especially since they lost two people now. It's going to be a 3 before retake and they're disadvantaged. Oh, so yeah, a little lizard planning for them, so that now they can have four guns up instead of just three. Oh, Frankie Ooh. gets tagged, was able to run away. That was not able to um, be part of the team. Mm -hmm. KDA and Kevin are also Cosmos is going to go ahead and uh, keep peeking. Oh, they know that they're there. Go, go, go ahead. Oh, good head tap from Frankie there. Dropping KDN to one shot range. Oh, and he does. Oh, he first gets Kusho. Yeah. But gets traded by Seizu getting two kills. There you go, Seizu with the three kills. Yeah, he cleans it up for the rest for gold. Getting the pistol around map uh, map two. What a great play from uh, what a great uh, play from Seizu. I mean, three, ki um, three kills for uh, defending Spike. Even though uh, Sac State was actually uh, finding a way to get in, but got canceled out. I actually think that Sac State losing their Viper there was a huge loss for them. They kind of lost their main controller, and they weren't really able to retake Sight that good. You see that their jet, um, well actually, yeah, seems like their jet was trying to smoke off bombs to get that defuse, but unfortunately it went away. It's only like five seconds. These are going to be holding uh, doors here in mid. Meanwhile, it looks like um, Astra is also going to be helping out. You know, it looks like Cosmos gets a first, first like, 10-second pick on uh, Kusho here. The mage is just peeking in, shooting just in case. Hoping for a headshot. Griff going ahead, backing out. Mm hmm This is working at mid here with the rest of um, gold, looks like. Ooh, they don't know the flick that it's going to be coming in. Or do they? I think the dangerous part is going to be the person to connect here. It looks like Evan's going to clear it, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, Sizer so going ahead, uh, taking down taking down the judge of Kavanar, getting um, full full take of sight. Uh, same time, it's going to be a it's going to be situational. It's a two v four. It's a two v three. Now it's going to be uh, on their way for a three v four. Three v four. You see, Mage caught catching up, getting their presence from Cosmos. Hmm. Looks like Gold's gonna opt for just to play for mines here on for Sazu's mines. People only take up sight. Finally, have full. Into, yeah, they finally have full sight. Will they be able to see who's going to be defusing? Now nah, they're just going to keep on shooting. Game. Oh, uh, Sizu getting that one, but two, but three! Yeah, the judge come in, Dre doing the trade. Oh, the trade judge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, greatest gun in the game, guys. It's amazing. Getting a 30, uh, game a 30 round. Yeah, that's definitely a rough loss for gold here, especially since that was their buy, it looks like, so they might be down here. Meanwhile, um, the two starving members of Sac State's able to pick up better guns and upgrade. Yeah, this works out for them. So from here, it looks like they're gonna be doing, uh, gonna be doing a way to have four in B site, but at the same time, the edge is gonna change their, uh, their games like play style for a bit. Mm -hmm. It definitely looks like DH is filling that loss. They're rocking mostly pistols with two sheriffs. Means all the rest of Sac State's upgraded to full rifles. It's gonna be in, this gonna be a really hard rat match round to win for um, gold here. Doesn't matter, it looks like Gold's gonna opt to just rush through Art here um, and hit A fast. Yeah, Frankie coming in with this Cascade to block off um, uh, Flowers here. Meanwhile, he enters site to plant bomb in underneath his cove. You know, it looks like um, Kush Kusha worked up as Gecko um, A main just to make sure no one lurked out. Looks like it's gonna be a 5v5 retake uh, for Sac State here. But they do have rifles here, so it looks like Gold either has to play for mines or play really close to see if they can get the, the close round headshots. Close point headshots. Evan with a good pick on uh, KJ here with the headshot on the Sheriff. 
Frankie rushing in with his friends. He unfortunately gets killed by Griff. And then Cosmos kills in, killing DCMH. Looking into the fuse, there's already half already, but there's no time getting to detain at the same time. There's no way they can go in, but now is able to get uh find their way. Ah, Saizu on the other hand was not able to get um headshot while Kavanaugh takes him down. Yeah, that rifle advantage for Sexy really helped them like just keep gold back. Like gold was not able really to push in because if they pushed in, they'd just get headshot by a Vandal or a Bulldog. Like the pistol just finally was saying. You see, Frankie was trying to make a play there with the frenzy, but unfortunately, he got he pushed out too a little bit too soon and got picked by the person watching from afar. That was the play. Oh, the very good play to come back. Mm -hmm. This could be a little bit dangerous for gold here because it looks like um, Sac State's putting their Astra on op and halls here. So this could be really dangerous. Whoever peeks first from gold into B long. Oh, well, it looks like it's going to be Frankie, but it looks like the smoke covers them. Oh, a smoke went down and the op misses, but they know the op's here. Frankie cascades to close the distance. I mean, it looks like Cosmos is playing heaven for B long or for B. Another Astra smoke. Needs to make sure there's a molly to hopefully block off that side of hall so they can get shot by an op. Frankie holding behind screens there. Who's just having his little little lizard man finding the bomb for them so they don't have to commit to it. Yeah, they can fall off now and just play for retake. Just play close plant. Lost rage here. Oh, Astro wall goes up. That's a great way for uh goal to actually just get the position. Especially that sure that they're having it. Mm hmm you see me getting a little bit low on ammo here. Only has like 20, bu 20 bullets, essentially. Oh, a lot of contact here. Frankie getting one and getting traded by Cosmos, but it looks like DCMH kills Viper. Five bullets, there's no war. He has a pistol, he has DCMH. Who's your on the so, other hand? Yeah. And Saizu, oh, once more, he's actually going to get three kills mm. from Long. I think they're trying to find the op um, that Sac State had. They probably threw it offside of the map just to make sure the gold couldn't get it. Looks like Sac State's going to be calling a timeout here, and we might be back after a short break. back from the short timeout but uh here we go um looks like they're gonna be trying a uh trying new uh positioning here with the three two split uh eight looks like uh Robert's gonna be watching uh mid here uh, usually gonna be working up a main using his flash to get some info see if anyone's holding there getting space picking up his buddy he might go for an ult orb here Meanwhile, it looks like stat states having their jet pop their ult so they can have knives here those knives do one shot at any range and do 50 damage minimum Mm, looks like they're having sexy having their viper hold art. It looks like uh, um, Seizu's holding kind of mid just to watch for any lurkers, which they kind of been having from Sac State. Oh, Sac State's playing very passive here. I don't really know their buy, but they might be. It looks like they're on really pistols and close range weapons, so they might be just trying to wait for Gold to hit a site so they can play close. Uh, looks like Gold's gonna maybe come in here for an A push. Mm, looks like Sac State's really kind of holding more towards. B long or actually they're more stacked towards A with that Viper and uh, Art um, and they have two people one in Flowers and one in Dugout. Frankie's gonna put up his wall, uh, DC Mix is gonna ult in, gets a little bit delayed by the suck. Ooh they see that the Jet's on site in the smoke. And DC Mix really making good use of his ult clearing as much as set as possible. It doesn't really matter if he dies on that because he can just come back. Trying to go ahead, trying to spike once more. I was with the martial shot onto Frankie yeah, and DCMH getting killed by a Spectre, unfortunate. Oh, Fisher getting sprayed through the wall. Oh, we have to reload. Yeah. Uh, Cosmo's getting another pick, getting another uh, pick for the Marshall. Sides are shutting down KDN. Well, Sides will be able to get uh, another Ooh. one. Uh, yeah, it was a 1v2, a post plant, unfortunate. Uh, Cosmos is going to go ahead, take him down. Sexy's really got that anti, um, that eco buy round wins. Like, this is, they really had marshals, but Cosmos with that marshal pick was able to kill Frankie dropping a rifle, which I think allowed it, the rest of Sac State to pick a rifle and kind of diverge it to their top players to start getting frags. Yeah, this is like the third, third, uh, the third, 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 third
uh, including from the last round, is actually they're pretty good with uh, using other guns, mm -hmm. especially for uh, uh, having to like gamble for a bit. Who knows? Like they do, they're able to be committed and actually win those rounds and able to pull by like later of the round. Mm -hmm. It definitely looks like uh, Gold is feeling that pain with only three people able to buy rifles and one with the marshal and one with the sheriff. So the Kusha's gonna be the sheriff, but he does have full armor. Has full util. Let's see if he, he's gonna plan with this wingman. Ooh, KDM with the uh, incoming uh, ulti. Will DC Rage go in? No, no, not at all. He looks like Saxe is committing two ults here. Wait, there's actually two Astros on the field Wait, right now. Flank out. Yeah. Having our game one, two down. Is he able to get three? No. Oh, DC Rage gets the trade, yeah. Yeah, it gets uh, it's <laughs> a flank down. It looks like Griff is also gonna play flank. Probably watching for rotations from Gold. They did lose three people here. It's a 3v2 and Gold's disadvantage. Let's see how this works for Gold. Looks like the rest of... Um, looks like Stat State's kind of playing more towards B, but they are having one person watch for rotations. Let's see if he hears anything or if Gold are just gonna slow walk towards A. They have time to do that. Oh, Griff might peek here and get the timing on Evan and um, DCMH. Oh, they might be able to walk. No, it looks like Griff's gonna peek, but DCMH turns around, but he turns it back around again. Oh, oh the timing is yeah. any better. <laughs> oh my. Oh, and then he walks out. Griff goes ahead. Yeah, it looks like A set's gonna be free for um gold here. Looks like uh Cosmos is kinda still looks like he was thinking about going, but it looks like he's not. Oh, it's gonna be a 2v3 retake left. for um Sac State here. Yeah, there you go. Um Griff's probably calming that they're planning A and the rest are gonna start rotating. Everyone wants more. Oh, uh, there might be timing here from Griff onto DCMH. They don't know either. Oh my god, he walks back into him and gets killed. Ooh, can Evan get at least get the trade here? It looks like he can because he pops into his um controller form. Oh, it looks like he runs out. Oh, they know he's there. Can Evan get one? He can. He gets the suck pulling him up bomb, but he can't get the kill. Unfortunately, Cosmos was able to shoot him through the suck and kill him. Man, it was from timing to timing on that round, especially mm. Griff, like, <laughs> did not know if they were there or not, but, but was able to come back and find, oh, there they were. Mm. <laughs> At least Gold was able to get the bomb down and get that extra money, but it looks like they will have to save here because three did buy rifles. Meanwhile, uh, looks like Satsai might do a donation for their KJ since their KJ might not be able to buy and their Viper here. Meanwhile, it looks like Gold is going to opt for a very close range fight with, even though they do have three sheriffs, so let's do one shot there within 30 meters. And he might actually try to rush through A, which looks like they are. Actually, it might be a mid through A, mid through Art to hit A fast, but they might run into Sac State's more stacked site of three people on A. Let's see how this works. Just going to work up, kind of hold control doors here. He needs to put a little bit further back to watch for any fast rushes through um, Link here. He's gonna spot Frankie's Cascade. He knows that there's some people there. He knows there's presence. He hears them running, he hears the movement. Uh, Sushai's gonna get a kill oh, on Evan here with a wall bang, yeah. That's gonna force Sushai to back up. He's holding bomb. Sushai is gonna go ahead, having Stinger. Uh, Frankie's gonna catch up the timing. Uh, yeah, the timings are really, really getting Sac State's favor here. Ooh, Seizu might have the timing on Griff here, though, and he might be able to get a Phantom. Oh, he catches the reload, too, and he's able to get the kill and switch off and upgrade to a Phantom. DCMH is, uh, DCMH. Kusha is playing really close to picking up his thing, but that does give info. Can he get the kill? Yes, he can. Okay, it's a 3v2, and if he can get this rifle, he can upgrade. Yeah. Oh, that was able to fully come clean. Yeah, get his bomb, plant with Wingman. Will Wingman get shot? Flash is going to cover him. Oh, he does get shot, unfortunately, before Cosmos gets flashed. Oh, we're scared of that aim aim, but it doesn't matter. He gets a trade on Kuzmo, yeah, getting the headshot. 1v2, he's on the turn as a second man. Can you get the bomb? He can, he gets the kill. Friends gonna give info if he walks out of flowers, it does. Oh, the timings again! Oh, no way! Oh, no way, Kitty actually got, uh, Saizu down, was... Very unfortunate. Um, thought like she kept staying there, but no way. Yeah, it does look like this. The timings are getting, getting gold here. This is the timing is in in uh, Sax, uh State Black's um, hand right here. Mm -hmm. uh, who knows? Will it? Will it be? Uh, 
would be lasting that long who knows yeah. at the moment i think it's just like the hyper focus of gold to probably commit to like their game plan they set up beforehand just to like screen them on those timings because they don't really think to check like they're like uh my teammate probably has this check like it's probably clear right or like oh. i don't have the time to check it that op here from griff yeah i'm missing the shot but at least they know the ops here i'll spray see if they can get him through the cascade Harvey's in a cove up probably for Kusha to plan his uh, bomb with Wingman. Yeah, Wingman goes out. Can he get into cove before he gets shot? Yes, he can. Here's Frank goes up to protect him. It looks like they're going to play post plan. Oh, wait. Oh, no, the mine kills him. And Griff gets the option on Frankie. 5v3. Oh, my God. It looks like Saxite stacking towards heaven. And looks like they're having their Viper lurk, but the Viper's really slow on the lurk. They might not even be able to get any. Not valuable like intel after that from it. On the other hand, it's going to be three kills. And Kevin is going to swing and kill Seizu here with a headshot. Oh, that really sucks. Yeah, like, they actually they actually rely on like Wingman too much, and like this uh, having Sax, they also like having position like positioning themselves to where they know where the, um, the they know that they should positioning uh with the wingman but the, when they're crates it's gonna be like they're, they're like know where the, the one's going and whatnot i honestly think um this is where the double controllers kind of come in useful for goal um they should be able to aggressively choose a side and push it i think them kind of delaying after they get like that first contact as you see with griff like Frankie cascades up and blocks it out, but they still kind of wait a little bit, right? It lets the rest of Sac State kind of rotate in and get just fully there. Now it's a more of a 5v5 instead of like a 1v5, right? Yeah. And it looks like they're going to go for a split here with DCMH holding down B long. Um, while meanwhile, it looks like three gold are going to go through mid and Frankie's going to work up A long. I mean, looks like Sac State's going to have their Viper and uh, B link. Meanwhile, the rest of Sax, it's kind of more stacked towards A. They have that op on Griff for B, so he's probably going to... They, they're confident they can hold side by himself. Oh, DCMH oh. gets the contact with the Marshall, but unfortunately misses. But he knows the op's there. Actually, it hits, actually. Yeah, hits. yeah. what the heck? That's 100 damage. So the wall bang is a little bit less. Oh! Oh my god. This, yeah, gold Cosmos. just crumbles in one, in one second. Four die. Time it perfectly. Oh. Flawless from um, back state. What a, play, mm. what a play for them. That op pressure. That op is really creating pressure down B. It's really incentivizing gold to just not push it. I do feel like and this might come the time where they just need an aggressive push with those two controllers. They do have Astra okay, and Harbor here. Mm. Harbor can easily close off all of A with two cascades and his wall. And then Astra can use um, her concusses to push people out of hard angles. I actually like the way they put the um, full on smokes for A. Mm -hmm. Probably trying to bait out um, Sack Save, but it looks like they're not going to fall for it. That AWP, again, is just holding. It's That's their only challenge for DH so far. Almost a headshot from DCMH here on Griff, unfortunately. It, it misses barely. You can see the fragments off the wall. His impact. Looks like they have Wingman Plant, throwing a flash to cover him. Is this time he's planning out in the open, probably to counter the mines that uh, Sac State's KJ probably planned to kill him. Spikes down, they can play retake. Unfortunately, Astra throws up her ult here, blocking all of sound on site for gold here. Mm -hmm. See how this works. Gold's trying to just create presence there because they don't want them to think that there's, no, there's none on site. We can just defuse it. They can't hear us getting on bomb. But they can see all gold committing so much details. They don't know if they're on bomb right now. Oh, it looks like they're able to delay it enough for ball drops. 5v5. Oh my god, looks like, uh, yeah, Evan yeah, unfortunately so misses the Viper who's playing a connect and gets killed. Oh, this, this, oh it's still winnable, still winnable. Shooting. Oh, yes, winnable. Yo, saves it with the clutch, getting the op down and getting the spray onto Sushai with the headshot. Well, he doesn't go for the op though, doesn't get it for one of his teammates. I think they wanted, I think they actually wanted that op. Like, out of the field, like not in play anymore. Yeah, so they're so they're not able to like just take it back and yeah like, have full position because that was their that was basically DH like avoiding them to um, plant and all uh, like continue their plan to just uh, defend while pushing in. Yeah, looks like DH uh, gold is gonna stack more towards A here. They're gonna have two play lurk uh, to work up mid. 
Looks like Sac State's also stacking heavily towards A. Unfortunately, oh, the judge gets Kusho, but he gets traded by Evan. Oh, they know... I don't know if they're able to spot that out scale, but they know that at least one more person's on A. At least. Looks like the rest of gold's working up through R right here. Can they get the kill on Viper as the Viper is working through? Smoke? DCMH with the positioning is able to kill Viper without even having to worry about getting shot at. 4v3 in gold's favor. Hmm. Looks like Griff is going to be working out of A, out of B towards A to back up his um, Cosmos here. That doesn't mean that B is the is the easiest site to hit. Actually, it might be A since no one's on A. Yeah, they're this just rotating in. Yeah. But they do not know that. But at the same time, Griff is, is available. Do they know? I don't think so. But it yeah, looks look. like they know the positioning will be A for sure. Looks like Sac State probably realized their man disadvantage and just decided that we just should play together all of Sion. and it's better to play retake together than to play retake with two people. Ooh, there's another op here. Oh, Evan misses, gets, looks like he gets movement error on his first Vandal shot. He's unable to get the headshot, letting Griff get him with the op kill. Doesn't matter though, they're at least able to get the bomb down. It's a 3v3. Uh, Gold's having three rifles here, while Sac State's gonna have a two rifles and the op here. Griff's working through connector, trying to clear it out so they can get as much map control as possible. So they can at least isolate where gold can be playing. Meanwhile, Frankie's going to play lurk in mid. He might get the timing here on uh, Griff here and get that op out of play. Oh no, Griff turns around. Oh, it doesn't matter. Griff just tried to throw activate a star and Frankie's able to get the pick, dropping the op. 3v2 and gold's, gold's advantage. Timing could not be any worse for I say right now, but oh. KDS not going ahead. They get the spray killing Cosmos and saves it to clean up KDN. Uh, DH is finally Last going to find their way to just Last round get through, in the half. Get through side in. At the same time, now they're actually going, now they're able to just have their time mm -hmm. uh, on their side for a bit. Hopefully they have it for the next few rounds. Looks like by wise um, gold might be in a low bend disadvantage having only two light shields instead of full light shields, yeah. but Generally, both teams are going to have rifles. They can't buy an op, so they don't have to worry about that into play because like, they just don't have the eco to support that. So that might influence how um, gold here plays so they don't have to worry about an op. It yeah, looks like they're going to go two B, two B long, uh, two mid, and one towards A. Bomb is towards A side, though. She's always keeping mid you mm -hmm. know, with the wall. Who knows? He might do, might do the same, like, yeah, it looks like both teams are going for a default here. Um, Cosmos is rotating towards B, so B is going to be the most stacked site. Meanwhile, Kushir is working up A long, um, clearing it out. Looks like Gold has actually decided that A is probably the weaker site because, like, Kushir didn't get any contact or any info, like, nothing. So it looks like Gold might be able to push up the site before Cosmos gets into position to help out um, Jet here. Oh, Frankie, unfortunately, is able to get the kill on Suchai. Probably giving away that Gold might be hitting A. Oh, Evan gets... A lot of damage there from the molly. DCMH into sight. Tries to clear it as much molly. Gets hit by a KO grenade. Oh, but that was his ult, so it doesn't matter anyways. All that all that util is just gone for Sac State. Oh, bombs down. They're playing post plant. It's a 5v4. Um, looks like Sac State's just committing to just all play on sight the death ball instead of trying to have one person rotate. While uh, Gold's gonna have their Astra play mid to see if they can get a timing. Oh, looks like Sass is going to pop their ult, get, try to get them off site. Ooh. Gold has to play on site, so try to get Gold picks to get them off that bomb. Oh, Sasashi gets down. That's all right. Um, that's that's DCMH getting the is a big deal. He's protected by his teammates. Um, he's like getting the kill. Oh, DCMH getting the, the double right there. Getting the round for uh, Gold, making that making the first half score be 7-5 in Gold's um, and Sac State's favor. Already. Let's see how gold plays defense. Um, it definitely looked on attack. They're usually going defaults till they got info, then they would commit towards one site. Let's see if on this side they try to stack site or they try to be more even throughout the map. Um, looks like Sassy is just going to commit a uh, B. I mean, they might be going for a B split here. Uh, three mid, two long. See how this works.
All right, going ahead. DH is going to be for defending. Um, looks like they're not going to try out what DH did on the first round, having um, pushing in his side. Well, play it very passively here, but at the same time, they are trying out what DH has not done so mid. Yeah, it looks like Sax is just going for a full mid push here towards B, or at least trying to get a pick here and then probably committing to a site after that. Um, Gold looks like they're still kind of playing on sites here. Uh, maybe they should try to at least con con confront like these links here because they are kind of giving up all of art right now and they're they're contesting b link but art is just free unless seizu gets this timing on them as they walk through but um who knows looks like gold is just still going to commit towards on site just in case someone lurks oh there's a smoke blocking off b link and frankie get a pick here as they push oh, through you actually saw frankie oh looks like they might actually get a pinch here on the people in b link one, yeah, one headshot, a second headshot. Can he get a third one? He gets a he gets a third headshot, but doesn't kill. Oh, the reload, the oh and he's getting shot from the back. Yeah, from Viper. It's a two v two. Um, they should know bomb is there because they would probably get the pop of that bomb killer. Bomb first carry bomb died and be like, Ooh, Evan get the stun, killing the kill on Griff here. Oh, bomb is oh bomb's not down yet. Can he get the spray through the wall? Oh, barely misses the headshot. Bomb's down. Oh, I had wingman go in to go for a stun. <laughs> uh, push in, push in. Yeah, it works, you know. That's that's three play three players right there, essentially. Mm. That was a fast rotate from Kusha there, just immediately rotating off A. If he took a little bit longer, that could have been a 1v1. And that might, um, one might have turned into another 1v1 for Kusha versus the Viper. Yeah, but it was a 2v1. Looks like Cosmos is offing for that uh, Marshall here, which is he's, he's, he's proven. Or they've proven that they've been very dangerous on that Marshall. Getting multiple headshots at least onto Frankie when Frankie's had a rifle. This time, it's actually on the attacker's side. Mm -hmm. Usually, defenders would be... Uh, be... Mm -hmm. It does look, though, that Cosmos will be able to contest um, B-Long very easily with his Marshall versus Evan's Spectre. Ooh, that's a miss. Yeah, but at least gets the jump peak that there's at least four. Yep, Utah coming in to take take sight. Uh, Frankie yeah. goes just casts uh, his wall to block to delay it. Evan throws up his stars. Throws up his smokes. See how this works. Ooh, there's Griff is lurking though for a mid for Sac State. Looks like uh uh Kusho here is gonna or not Kusho, um Says is gonna play a little bit cautious there. You probably heard that thing. Meanwhile, Gold doesn't really know if they're committing, so they're still playing very wide here, not really rotating, not really committing too much to a B defense. And it looks like that's actually the play, because it looks like Saxe decided to give up on B and are just going to rotate towards A. Oh, yeah, it does get tagged. Right there. Almost stuff on the peaking there. He's away. Gain the flash, but that hard. Oh, knife, actually. I cannot use that. Yo, oh, Cosmos is still there. I thought Cosmos would rotate after a knife, but now he's gonna actually work up. No, he's so uh, getting the kill on Kavanaugh here as he tries to peek um, main, a main. Well, at least Gold knows that there's that the team are there and they don't have time to rotate, so they know they're, they're gonna have to commit A. Kusha gets the kill through DCMH. Oh, Ooh. Good, no, yeah, the DC Mage gets a Sashi game down. Yeah, dodging the headshot. Oh, the Marshall coming again, dropping DC Mage to 3 HP, but doesn't matter for him getting the headshot. What a flawless one. Yeah. Winning buy for gold here. But this will now be um, Sac State's buy. Well, let's see how this works out. Um, I feel like this will be the time for Sac State just to commit through B Long. They have the gun advantage, those Vandals are still one shot at any range. And if Cosmos here is able to translate that martial skill to his Vandal skill, it's going to be easy headshots for him whenever he tries to jump peek through B. Looks like that's what they're going to do. Meanwhile, Gold is stacking towards uh, B here, where it looks like, yeah, they're mostly towards B with only like two people on A while they have. No, it looks like they're actually going for their people, what they do. Looks like Saxate's rushing, or is very much con um, taking space uh, B here, trying to make as much presence, as much confrontation as possible. They might be able to take sight here unless Frankie plays close with the Spectre. No, he's gonna get spotted by the Suppressed, but they don't know where. Oh, he goes out, probably hiding in some smokes. Evans here holding a dangerous angle. Can he get a kill? He can. Can he get a second one? Oh, he falls off, picking up the Vandal. Seven bullets. Oh, he gets the wall bang. Ooh, gets 
He gets a sister as well. Oh, a dangerous peek with that ghost here. That could have been a very dangerous, but he has the rifle now. Pusha throws a molly to back him up. Oh, Kazu's getting a catch on a Frankie with a Guardian, and Sushai getting a van, uh, Phantom Spray. Getting, getting the Phantom Kill. Oh, it's a 3v3. You see me doing good picks out of smoke. Yeah, getting the kill on Kazu but unfortunately getting traded by Sushai. Right Look, looks like Gold do have Bomb here, so they don't really have to worry too much. They can just control that Bomb. Oh, but they barely have, they barely have vision for that. Uh, looks like the, the Vipers are gonna drop the wall. I'm probably thinking, what do I just save here? Or what do I do here? 30 seconds left. Oh, he's, he's, he's saying, let's well, screw it, just push in. Yeah. Will he be able to find, will he be able to find? Ooh, he might get the timing on Kusho here. Kusho he does, in, yeah. He does. This is a one shot. Oh! Oh, the clutch comes Yeah, the 4K clutch from Sushai here, getting Sac State that round, getting the score up to 8 7 in Sac State's favor. Um, now the back to the timing thing again. Here we go. Kushai is actually. Uh, helping this team a lot more with that Viper wall. Mm -hmm. It does look like that was a good um, save round here for uh, Gold here. They were able to get four rifles down, even though um, Saxe will be able to buy up again. Um, if you see their money, it's really hurry. Only Sushai is really comfortable for another round buy of Vandals. Um, meanwhile, Gold here obviously is going to buy Vandals here. This is their time to buy and um, to get kills and get these rounds more tied up. Looks like Sessa is going to commit towards mid. Going to have one lurk through B long. Um, may have the person, may have Griff lurk through A long here. He's going to get contact with DCMH and, Fran and uh, Kusha here. Oh, he gets the kill on DCMH but gets traded by Kusha. 4v4. It looks like Sessa is making up more mid um, control. Having two go art. It might actually be an art push into A. Uh, Seizu is here playing for connector. They could get timing on them as they walk past. Meanwhile, Kusha is holding in secret, trying to just play for um, post plant, probably. Retake. Oh, yep, says so here's them going in, putting all their util. It's probably common that's an A hit. <laughs> and now, Rusta Gold is rotating to play this post plant. Yeah. Wow. He will give info that he's there. He gets the detain on the cap. Oh my oh. god, Cosmos with the two kills and he gets traded by Kusha. Really, that was a really good play there for Cosmos to peek out to kill them while they're trying to get his detained teammate. The two v two. Um, see how this works. Yeah, it looks like a gold decided to stack up here to play doubles. And meanwhile, Saxy is playing very split here. This can be really. This is winnable for gold. Ooh, will that Molly kill Wingman? I oh, don't know, but looks like Yakusha is going to use the pack that he can get another um, ult charge and use it. Oh, oh. Wingman defusing the spike. The the six teammate. Getting that round win for um, gold, tying it up. Oh, wait, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, is that did Sax actually win that? No, it was just KDN. This is a very close match so far. It is eight and eight. Mm -hmm. Sasashi um, up on the leaderboard for Sax State. Well, on the other hand, Daizu with his gank uh, average of like uh, like uh, two to three kills uh, every mm -hmm. round. Uh, like carrying them to the area, especially with the utility. Mm -hmm. Wait, he bought both a steer and Phantom. He probably dropped it for. Um... Yeah, we dropped it. Uh, he probably dropped it for the Viper. Oh, DCMH doesn't get the headshot on Griff as they walk past, but he knows that like, Griff is there. I don't know. Oh, oh he gets the kills. Griff peeks oh, a little right. bit too far. It's a few hits from uh, to Kavanaugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gold's gonna play a little back. They got their pick. They don't have to commit too much. They don't want to die here and give weapons. Um, just give man disadvantage. Looks like Gold's still playing cautious, playing patient. Like they got the pick, they just have to wait. They're the ones that have to defend. They don't have to push. Uh, DC is gonna play here to contest mid control with um, Seizu here indoors. Looks like Sax is gonna opt to go down a long where their Astra died. Akusha's playing flowers, probably playing for a quick, um. Like, retreat in case they actually push so he doesn't die here. Yeah, it looks like Sassy's just committing towards A. They don't have any lurkers. Ooh, gets headshotted. I don't know if really survives. Yeah, that, I think but... he actually got headshot by a Vandal. A wall being saving all there it is. Yeah, DCM is dropping the bomb on the Viper on their jet. And it's like, yeah, Sassy's going to ult their Viper. Unless, yep. unless uh, DCMH will be going ahead, uh, ulti in so we can push. He might actually. Oh, this Viper's so oh, close. He yeah, there he is. Yeah, he is. Oh, he saw the gun barrel. Oh, no. He... 
Oh, oh first, oh, but he was able to. Oh. Uh, the Bungar roll just peeked out before he was able to see it. It's okay. Save the gets a trade, kill him. Gets, gets a Viper shutdown. Okay, upgrade it to a Bulldog. It's 3v2 still. Oh, uh, it's a 2v2. 2v1. Oh, combo's very low. It's gonna uh, take down the Molly to spike. Oh, he sprang corners. I don't know if Seizu knows where the KO's at. Well, now they do, but I don't think he knew that he ran that way. Oh, he gets flash, but he dodges out of it. They have to get that spike to half. Seizu looks a little lost here. Oh, um, no. uh, they got a half, though. It's still winnable. Yeah, nice. there you go. Seizu gets that shot. Yeah. Yeah, there was a little bit of confusion there with uh, mm. both Evan and si uh, Seizu there. Yeah, I thought it was like a, a knife lineup. And it looks like Saxon's going to call timeout here, and we'll be back after a short break. Timeout. Uh, looks like um, looks like we're going to have a different playstyle here. It looks like they're going to try and do uh, a different way for I put they're like wandering around. <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> um, Saxe probably was talking to each other, but like we just got to start committing sites. Like us playing default and playing like the long game isn't working for us. Um, so that's probably why they bought two marshals this round to just take B completely. Um, they're gonna have one Lurker as their Viper, which they've always had Viper, because Viper is the controller. She doesn't need to be close with the rest of the team to do her job. Um, meanwhile, Gold here is gonna play default. Looks like they are giving up A, no one on A, so someone they did lurk through A, they would have it, but it looks like DC may oh, just kind of play A. Gonna, yeah, Sasashi's gonna be going ahead, it's actually uh, out there. It was an alarm bot trigger, mm -hmm. knowing that there's a one mid, a beast mid. Uh, they have vision for both. Uh, both sides. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're gonna be uh, walking towards mid. Um, at the moment, looks like they're trying to find a way to uh, rotate to A. At the same time, Susashi's kind of stuck. Well, finds a way to get away from both vision, but mm -hmm. there goes Frankie going in, pushing in. Yeah. Seconds left. He's probably the first round contact. Oh no, he's in it. Oh yeah, either. I guess the timing probably. There goes Frankie with yeah. oh, yeah, so they put there. their ult down. Uh, down. Their jets quickly clearing outside. Gets flashed, I think, by their own teammate. Or it was oh, like Gekko Kaiser Kusho. <laughs> it was a struggle. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh. They, got a, they got a rifle. Left. They might get two rifles actually. They have enough time to yeah, Frankie pops his ult. Uh, it's gonna give info from the little lines on the sky. There you go, they know where they're at. Yeah, that info giving Seizu where to where to put his crosshair. 1v1, Marshall versus Phantom. Oh, the oh Seizu did not see the gun. No. Oh no. Whole frenzy, this is really dangerous. Oh, it doesn't matter. He gets the headshot. I think he gets the headshot. Looks like it. I know. Phantoms are a little finicky, that 140. It'll be crazy with Frankie. Like collides. A small with Phantom, there you go. Yeah, it looks like uh Gold's gonna get their um, get it to eight ten in their favor, going from seven five. Uh, they've never been winning these rounds. I honestly feel like if we can like look at how the overall game's been, it seems like both teams kind of struggle. They use their controllers to take sight. Like on defense, they got a lockdown, right? But, like when it comes to taking sight, it looks like they kind of struggle where to place their util. Um, I don't know whether like their viper just throwing out their wall to create presence B. Like they just don't ever go. They don't really go B, so it's kind of like a loss of util there. Maybe it would be better just to keep it. Um, who knows here? But it looks like Saxe is going to commit towards A, getting contact immediately on Gold, on Kusho and DCMH. We're going to have Suchai um, play mid here. Um, mid is completely free. Um, he might get a timing here in DCMH if he walks backwards. Oh, the timing with the um, Astro Ball will be able to flash in. Will they know that Suchai? Uh... Uh, Suicide was actually there. I think that was. Uh, Cause was going to go ahead. Close for the spike. Uh, planted. Plant for the spike. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this works out. So 5v5 retake. Um, DCMA spraying for any <laughs> yeah, KJ stuff on there. Uh, Caesar's going to pop their KJ ult to try to push them back out. Um, oh my god, so much Uto going out. Frankie's in a cove. Yeah, it looks like this bomb's going to be theirs, unfortunately. Uh, there's no way for Saxe to do that. They just know. got Util out, yeah. 
Oh, at least they get the oh, trade. Maybe this is where they save. Maybe it's better not to go for Pixar and just to lose weapons. Yeah, it looks like they are. Good retake from Gold here, using all their Util really to just take it. Two ults, um, using Frankie to Harbury just in case they heard spraying. Just, they were able to just completely take sight back. Like, no contest. Um, let's see how Saxate plays this. Um, maybe looks like they might go B split here, but who knows? They really like to go B split, but then they decide to go A. Um, you'd think that and they would like figure out like just some main site to hit because I feel like it would work for them. They just death fall, but I think they're just playing, playing too like patient is really hurting them here. They have the util to get onto site. They have two controllers. Looks like DC, looks like DCMH and uh, Lucio are actually going to be okay, but like, now we're going to be like, heading back to mm -hmm. rotate the Ooh, I've been getting the pick here through the Viper wall. Nice. Okay, yeah. Prefer to get traded by Canavar. Now we have full control for yeah, Cosmos is going to be side now. Cosmos is going to plant. It's going to be post plant 4v4. Let's see how this works. Uh, gold's all here, but it looks like um. It goes the ulti for uh, Fusho. Yeah, he's gonna get detain. two detains. Oh, two. Oh, uh, just DC mage lining him up. Uh, Sashi, uh. Three v one. This is where he can shine though. Oh, the cove's up. He has to get these picks. Oh, that's thank you. I honestly think the miss Molly there from Tushai. Oh, no, I actually hit. I, that first miss Molly actually might have cost him the round there. Um, it wasn't able to get the extra damage on the bomb planner, which allowed uh, Sazy just to stick it out. 8-12 match point in gold's favor. And gold to close out map 2 and go to map 3 with 2 map wins. Um, yeah, it looks like Saxate's obviously getting the 4 seer 4 armor. And it looks like uh, gold here is probably going to do the same. They have the money to do it. No ops this map. Well, I say that, but Griff was opting for their half of the map. But no ops on attack, it seems. Um... Looks like Sax is going to commit towards A here. No, maybe two people lurking through A. Let's see, Kusha might get intel on this flash. He gets at least one. He knows that Kale's there. He doesn't know if Kale was the one that got flashed. He's going to get orb. Just probably to prevent it, um, Sax A from getting it. Now they're going to go ahead and rotate to B. Yeah. But, uh, looks like the one's going to be staying mid, figuring out... Uh, so yeah, kind of. Either, well, either way, like Sai, uh, is going to be there to uh, watch the flanks. He, he's always prepared for that. No way, he oh, actually yeah, did. Oh yeah, the headshot, the timing. Yeah, Canavar actually gets it. Ooh, Sushan the double kill here in halls. Five mm. e five e two. Exact state. Will be saying like, no, it's our turn now. Let's see how this, Let's see how this goes. Um, I think DCMH still has both his flashes. He could do, and his ult, he could do a crazy player. I think he's suppressed right now, though, so that's gonna have to wait a little bit. But, you know, who knows? He can get a crazy, crazy spray through here, a crazy play. Let's see if he goes for it if he decides to save his ult. Maybe. This is, uh, I think, a one way from Sac State. Maybe, like, a partial one way. Uh, I don't know if he, oh, he did see him jump. He yeah. Did. It looks like Sac State is gonna play to run away and save our guns before he died to bomb. Yeah, it looks like Gold's gonna do the same. Ooh, maybe DCMH. Oh, no, no, he's safe. He's safe. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen some people die when they're running away like that, and I was just like, you know, it's scary. Yeah, oh. it feels bad <laughs> losing a rifle that way. Um, looks like gold. They're not gonna be able to run a charity program. Oh, unless they are, they're gonna be able to buy everyone, buy the people that can't buy their guns, um, rifles. Be another five v five with rifles. Ooh, Saxy could buy an op here, but it looks like they might go to not do that. Um, they probably just want to play. Probably trying to do the same game plan they did last round. See if they can... Because they got to win at least three more to get it to overtime. Um, and if they can start getting that momentum, it could be possible. It could be feasible. Ooh, KO Knife goes out. Suppresses, I think, at least three of gold. Or no, two. Uh, they're going to play back. It's not worth dying here. Ooh, can they... Oh, my oh, God. They're they're Sac State's Astra, hard. yeah. Just giving them the util. Full, full control yeah. site now. Yeah, they basically, it looks like Gold's gonna have to give up backside as well. Oh, now Akusha's actually holding it. Sends out his wingman, who dies, and who dies, unfortunately. He might get a gun stun up. No, the miss spray on the plant here, unfortunate. That could have been, uh, that could have been delayed there. He goes for the ulti as well. Now they now he know where people are at. He goes for Canavar and Griff. Zack State's Ash are really doing good here, delaying as much info as possible for Gold here. Oh my god, oh, the Kale Grenade, no. killing DCMH, getting his body flung at the CPU. It's unfortunate, size you also uh, yeah, that's stab. Unfortunate. Oh, Evan's on the bomb, he's probably gonna get sprayed, maybe. Oh, unfortunately he does. Uh, and he's not able to get it to half to get the orb. 
I'm not bothered actually. They're we'll getting over fast. 10 12. Um, looks like golds are probably gonna have to save here. They're gonna may buy, might buy like marshals and specters, uh, stingers, but they're just not gonna be able to buy rifles here. Oh, maybe, maybe I hear a rifle of them DCMH. Um, meanwhile, obviously, Saxon's gonna commit to full rifles again. Um, no ops, you know, I could comfortably buy one. Uh, let's see how this works out. Let's see if gold, um, either plays for a fast rotate here, let's have gun disadvantage, or if they play just to retake again. Let's see, Saxate's going through a main for a main one mid. Um quickly looking oh, our kind of rifle. Ooh, yeah, DC Mage with a hero rifle getting two kills. Ryan this is a 3v5. Gujar could get a rifle here. This could be um, gold mat. This could be gold round. So wingman out. He's gonna get headshotted. No, he's not actually he's gonna run through. Unfortunately, Frankie dies, yeah. Ooh, Kushar getting really dangerous here. The specter. He's gonna get orb. Two more gets two kills or another orb, and he gets oh, his ult. For the rotate, will Sizer be able to be known enough? No, Sizer probably I hears know. him. Though. He's probably coming that they're rotating, they're rotating, they're going through B link. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah, gonna I'm take going. Cypher free. Yeah, look. Three v four right now. At the moment, there's gonna be three. Uh, Spike planted. It's gonna be like three flanks coming from long. But I think if we can look at how gold rotated, I think they're able to pick up those two rifles that DCMH got for them. So it's gonna be three rifles versus three rifles. Oh, Canavar getting a headshot on Nevin. 3v2, uh, 3v3. Oh, DCMH countering with his own headshot on Canavar. It is. DCMH clearing out halls. Yeah, no one there. He has no flashes. He gets a molly and one more kill, though. Ooh. I think they have at least 25 seconds left. They can still play for kills. Ooh, DCMH with a swing. Oh, 1v1. It's the 1v1 for the moment. Oh, oh, he knows he's there. Throw a molly to get him off that angle. Oh, no. Oh, falls. Can you get that? No. No. Kalanis is going to play for time, giving them that round win. Oh, but everyone dies, though, so. Yeah. Damn, DC makes with the 4K. That could have been his ace that and the clutch. Yeah. yeah, that would have been crazy if he got that. One crazy. more match and gold, and it's overtime. Let's see if gold can close out this round. This map with this round. Ooh, four rifles, yeah, makes sense. And the eco on this. Uh, on, um. On Sac State, from just the momentum they're able to get. The last push there, actually. The last push is whether uh go here mm -hmm. or they go overtime. Yeah. They always struggle for... Uh, going to get info on that? Oh, unfortunately it's not. Unfortunate. Um, I said not again. Yeah, it looks like Sac State commits a fast rush here, which is probably going to work in their favor. Oh, oh there goes... Uh, just for the, like, mm -hmm. enjoy it. Uh, looks like... Uh, Next, Gold's Astra um, was playing really anchored on D. Oh, it gets one! Yeah, the spray, the wow. headshot. Wow, DCMH with the kill on oh, Susha as well. Here comes the so ult. Would be able to counter oh. back with the. Oh, yeah, giving it back so he can get his buddy back up. Uh, his... He didn't get it. I think it's Lizzie. I think that's what that one's called. Oh. Oh, they have enough time to grab it. Ooh, no swing on getting that. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Ooh, he gets oh. the little bang headshot. Oh, 2v4. Mm, let's see how Saxe plays this. They have time to rotate. I have to fake a rotate as well. Uh, oh, wait. Keep going, man. Cosmos, <laughs> Cosmos and... Uh, Wait, is Kusha going to pick up his wingman or is he going to let him die over there? He might let him die. Uh, but he started his ulti either way, so he has another chance. Yeah. Oh, they're probably coming. That, yeah, they're hitting B and they can't rotate. They do not know. Oh, and my then? God. The timing on Evan entering his ult on uh, his, um, his moat. Not oh, being able to kill... Know. Uh, Griff as he runs through. It doesn't matter. Caesar gets the kill. Oh, he saw, he saw KO there. He's gonna put up his. Uh, he's gonna throw that so they don't know that they're defusing. Doesn't matter. He's gonna throw his mine on it. His grenade. Oh, he gets the kill on DCMH's uh, Phoenix ult. Come here, Flash. Come coming. Oh, there it is. Yes, Gold's able to clean up map two, winning map two of Grand Finals and putting it into match point for them for map three. And we'll end map two and we'll come back after a short. Oh, we're going to keep talking. All right. What's I'll, your final thoughts on that map? Actually, man, I hate pro. I'm <laughs> not going to lie. There's so, much, there's so much peaking you know, there is take. Like, you have to go from, like, be long to continue. Like, that's like a that's like an area where you have to have Marshall and off. That's what that's what Sac State would have to be doing. Um, other hand, they actually countered that with uh, Smokes, obviously. And they kept going on, like, 
uh, especially with the Viper while mid, there's like there's no way, but either way, DH was actually able to find their way, like mm. to push, uh, break, like, like break their like. <laughs> like break their wall, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. so you're good. You're good. Uh, yeah, it was actually kind of great to see. Mm -hmm. um, DH was actually there to come back. Also with the uh, DC DCMH, like yeah, coming Getting, out as MVP. Yeah, a lot of clutches and kills. It looks like we'll be back after a short break with Map Three of the Grand Finals of NECC Spring 2023. There. There. Welcome back to map three of uh, NECC, uh, NECC Grand Finals. Um, today we'll be having, oh, for this map, we'll be having a new cast here. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is uh, Charles. I'm Charles Pet Dog. I am uh, the initiator spokes for uh, DH Pro for Valorant. Um, starting off, uh, I kind of like, I'm not used to seeing Cypher on this map, but I wonder how it play. I kind of like the Cypher pick. I don't really know how it plays out though. I'm surprised they didn't pick up the, the double smoke since they were playing double smokes on Pearl. I know Omen's a really popular, popular pick, but I think having the, uh, really Eliza's oh, getting three headshots on a row with the ghost. Yeah, just cleaning up sight. Um, he's feeling himself. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's activated. He's on here. Um, yeah, it looks like Pistol is gonna go to uh, Gold here. Yeah. And I do, I do like the Omen. I do like the Raze. Mm -hmm. I, I like oh, yeah. the There's Breach. I wonder. I, I, I wonder, I wonder yeah. how they would have done with Double Controller. I, I, I like, I like Breach and Sky on this map, but I, yeah. I wonder if uh, just going for Viper would been. I want to see how this plays out on defense. Okay. Trying to attack towards A. Looks like DH is trying to really fight for that. Uh, for that oh, they're swarming through B. So I didn't. Uh, as you can tell, for DH, we did uh, have a new. We did have a sub go in. Uh, for Ku uh, Kusho, as you can tell, we have a uh, Lex is going on. Uh, that team for wow, that was a fast round. Oh my gosh, uh, that was really fast. So yeah, so here we are having Alexis um, subbing in for Ku uh, Kusho. What a great play for DH though. Uh, that was a pretty, a pretty quick round. They they pretty much just five stack through. They kind of they kind of notice that. Uh, Black noticed that uh, DH was going to fight for the Rebel Control, so they just didn't even bother showing up. They were expecting like 2-3 coming out of A main, so they just full sent it and just read them and ran the main. Cover it looks like uh, they're starting to play default though. Just trying to get information on who else is playing. No Breach is playing towards A, and they already have an idea from last round that Omen plays towards B. So they're just trying to get information on that Cypher and that's kind of well, it seems like uh, they're worried about the, the B push again, so they started to send Sky towards B. So right now, DC Mage is going to go ahead and break that wall through for um, kind of a eight. So, uh, 
fight's going to start going out. Well, uh, it's kind of, uh, Canavar is uh, rushing in. Hey, oh, they gotta be careful with uh, there's the inspector. <laughs> when you miss the one, yeah, you miss one shot, you're just, you're just dead either way. That's how it is. Alexis is gonna go ahead, probably gonna rush in, getting uh, not not KDN, but also DCMH, uh, helping support get uh, having uh, oh, the flick of the century. Uh, Susha getting um, <laughs> getting flipped out from uh, DCMH. Frankie also getting, um, yeah, basically Susha. That's pretty and good. I, I, I like I like the awareness of DCMH. He knew they he knew three cross, but he wasn't totally sure if there was still any on the flank. So he was very very much aware of the sky on the flank. Well, he didn't really catch like catch him um, because he was playing through the smoke. But he he was very hyper aware and focused on that. Also like I uh, also like that he's playing towards um towards this little door. I, I, I like playing Omen on this door. Because it helps you can help the team pretty quickly with the paranoia. Or you can just delay the delay the B push, delay the C push with your smokes. You're in pretty prime prime position. Alright, so here we are gonna going in, gain the orb in. Gonna just go ahead and smoke it out. Uh, we we'll be able to get the tripwire not so fast. Early nope. rotation from Sky towards B. Was Griff uh, in by himself for uh, uh, Sky? It looked like Black is trying to play for contact because they they have Omen up in a really advanced position. Obviously. Oh, but uh, I sent. Flash out that information so they have an extra cover going out. I gain the stun from Frankie from H on their side. Oh, gain. Alright, Osmo going ahead, um, I can spike in. That's dog, great. Dog comes through. Oh. They can see anybody, they're sending information. Oh, Frankie with the uh, unawareness. Here goes DCMH going to go ahead and push Last in. It goes, one, it, goes with the, it goes with the 1v1, but, or 2v1, but KDN goes ahead and shuts him down. Oh, there goes Cosmos. I find a guy, I guess he found one. That's um, that's pretty good positioning from the from the rays. Most people, when they, when they plant for that, uh, or that mound position, they don't really expect people to be playing on the site itself. Um, and not, definitely not having two people on the site. So that was pretty, pretty uh, interesting positioning from the Rays. It's actually kind of, actually kind of interesting that everyone's uh, for black is actually a pretty balanced. So here we go, DCMH, uh, always is showing as always. Uh, here they're, we go. They're starting to gather towards A. Um, it doesn't, I don't think they notice that they're starting to gather because, uh, Omen's starting to move. They want to go ahead and go for the... Fade Prowler out for information, does it get anything? Face your fear! Here goes with the rate. Here goes, here goes with the, um, the ult oh, from... Omen's smoke, smoke out. Osmos. Fade on Fade from Omen. I think we, we four. Frank is trying to get out, but there's no way. There's no yeah, way. He the, the breach after shock and then the noise. <laughs> he tried to get out. That was unfortunate. Oh, they have enough time. See, so DCMH. Oh, getting hit multiple times. This is very low. Did not know. Oh, found the timing. The timing on was. Perfect for uh, DC Mage. Most of the double. Do, most of the double. Oh, do they not? Drop, know, they do not know whatsoever. There goes one. Like oh, that was not. That was close though. Ah, close. Oh. Uh, goes for the clutch with the K, uh, KDN. Yeah, he was run, running out of time, so he felt like he had to stick it. What a, I, I did like that play though, uh, dropping like an aggressive smoke. Past the smuggle that he already initially threw to stop uh, them from getting information and TPing into it. He knew he was low on the. Uh, he knew he he had low HP and he knew he had to try to like uh, take a, take an aggressive fight to be able to, to get the defuse. 
And DCMH is on a tear, he's 10 and 2. It looks, like, it looks like they're not um, really fighting as heavily for that A control. Um, they're starting to realize that uh, Black is starting to swap, swap around. Um, it, they're kind of just playing for contact, really. The real Kaiser with the sky. I don't care if it's flashy the way being pushed in, but. We have raised on the paper. Oh, I'll get stunned. Oh, was, oh, for, oh Frankie going ahead and getting the cannon on. Or before, we have Cypher ulti, we have, uh, we have Omen ulti. Ooh, the TP unfortunate. Alexis going ahead, wasn't able to get Cosmos, but uh, Saizu was able to get him down. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy the turret to go for a double kill for uh, Adian. Oh. The clutch was perfect. Nice. Adian with the 4K though. Either way, watch amazing. That's a very and that's a very tough, uh, a very tough plant to combat, especially when you're um, when it's smoked off. I would, I, I like that. Um, I like that DCMH is smoking off the uh, C main. I wonder how it would do if he smokes off a little deeper towards mount and then just tries to fight for it, or smokes off the bomb itself. I feel like it, I feel like it might be a little bit easier on the on the defuser if he just oh um very cool so here we go uh looks like they're gonna be doing a three way split uh I don't... Yeah, one one to two split they're just <laughs> Cosmos holding <laughs> Cosmos is holding uh spike like everywhere spawn uh here we go they're, they're just playing for contact this at this point they have fade coming out they're just uh, trying to bait out the util and then see uh, where everybody's leaning, Careful or there. trying to uh, bait out uh, early rotation. Alexis is peeking here and there. This is a well, fortunate he. Page it's one of cap. I, th I think the fade. I think Canavar tried ca crossing and uh, DC Mage caught him on the cross. I don't think he was expecting that that gap in between towards the door. Definitely. Alright, gather towards A again. Oh, oh what, what a great, what a pick. great headshot! Fire in the hole. I think he swung oh, out. With, <laughs> he swung out with his knife too, so I don't, I don't think he was expecting. Thirty seconds left. Three. Oh, the bag gets pushed in. Fight down A. I zoom with the ulti. Yo, Kate knows where Kadian's at. Oh, oh, just a secure run. Dogs coming out. Now she's just trying to lay a plant as much as possible. Oh, the push in. There's not enough time. Oh, but but there it is. Frankie, uh, pure egoist here, is actually getting um, the kill in the round. 5 2 so far, uh, having the lead for uh, CSUDH gold. And I, I, do, I do like that, um, that uh, Black realizing that. Uh, a few rounds ago that the five stack wasn't working through C. So they tried the default, just try to try to beta utility and play for information. Unfortunately they got a couple a couple of timings. They they got timing a couple of times to fade and they just they just couldn't they couldn't uh, enter in with the uh with the numbers disadvantage. The plant down they got delayed. A heavy fighting for A control, they have DH has a one way, Omen's TP across. He read that, he dies. Oh, it gets flashed. This just gets flashed. Oh. Raze gets more. a fade kill from the cross. Dusha is gonna go ahead and get some intel. Only got one. Flashing from Saizu gonna go ahead. He controls coming. Kids countered by Cosmos with the control. Oh, uh, Acadian takes out DCMH. Alexis there to help support um get him, but there's no way to uh um, right there. Just finding a way just to go to A now or C. Knows that they knows that the air. Uh, oh, they're they're starting to push out of spawning. From Evan, it's gonna be a harsh push. Get, get the satchel for the trade. 
Uh, evening out the numbers to one v one now. Adrian is very low on this. Will he be able to see that? Oh, and nice. is able to get that one tap to actually get the fuse. Securing the uh, round, the round with Alexis. I, d I do like that um, Black attempted to try to even out numbers and two men push into the uh, into the spawn. It's unfortunate that they get traded off. Um, but if they would have gotten that pick, they would have been in a prime position to win this round. And especially especially on this map, attacking it's kind of kind of difficult when you're doing defense side is. Uh, uh, committing so much utility for defending the rubble you either have to match that by flooding with your own utility or you just have to play off of uh, a play to beat the utility and then just try to uh, either try to delay delay for uh another uh, fade eye or delay for for more like a uh, utility to come back online to be pushing again but it looks like they're just starting to five stack rush through and they just force force the issue. Two tree, they're both blind. That's the breeze. That's oh, two. Oh, what a great flash! Exit getting two down. First off, tree control. Sun comes through done. though. Three. Oh, but the dog holds them. Oh, oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. This is ace. Oh, if I love it, we'll be we'll be able to get the ace. Oh no! He, he got but either way, Evan will get. Either way, Evan will get uh the kill for. <laughs> Yeah, he, if or, he, yeah. Evan gets a trade off that, but uh, yeah, I think he got a little, a little too overzealous, and he wanted to go for that, for that ace. I don't blame him, especially in such a prime position. It's like you have so much, so much advantage there. You have the bomb down. You have numbers advantage. All right, so we're in timeout. So we'll be back uh, shortly. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, so apparently right now that is like their fourth time. That was the fourth time from uh, this whole entire. Yeah, they're um, with uh, with DH contesting that uh, that uh, A main really heavily. Yeah, they're not really giving too much options for uh, Black to be able to get bomb onto site. Oh, the oh. pushes! <laughs> DC oh. just getting getting pushed like hard right there. <laughs> There goes uh, KDM uh, go for the push. Under the line, they're actually through. They got tight with KD ulti. They commit the, mm -hmm. commit the ulti to site. Um, the ulti is down. We have Dog to re clear on the site. A swing from Oldman. Reach ulti comes through. There's a trade from Alexis. Frankly, carrying out. Uh, two shot. Oh man, with the, uh, with the judge. Mm -hmm. That's going to be quite. Quite, uh, Unfortunate. Yeah. Best gun in the game. <laughs> I really hate the judge. Like it's very powerful. See, here's the thing. I, I like I like the judge when I'm using it. I hate it when they're using it against me. Ah, uh, here we go. Alexis gonna get the peaks here. Gang vision. There's no way out. Oh, Ooh. but gets one. Uh, let's just Kavanaugh gonna get it. See, they they um. Oh yeah. Here the goes. black starting to black starting to realize that uh. A DH is, is gonna contest very aggressively these these neutral zones, whether it's A, whether it's B main or or, or C mound. They realize they're no matter where they're going, whether it's neutral, whether it's a a default or a five stack, they're gonna be contested. So they played to walk in slowly through B rather than rushing like they have been previously, and they're just they're just baiting out the utility and then. Uh, 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 making a hit from there. So, well, they're they're just exploding onto contact. Also, please be mindful. Uh, Twitch, please be respectful at all times. Not um, want any disrespect whatsoever. This is play fairness. But uh, here we go. Um, they baited out the utility out of A main. They started to swap over to C. They have Omen holding the B main. Oh, here's a. Oh, Sushai's going to go ahead and get the pick. DCMH is going to get the headshot from the Griff. Taking, uh, taking out the imposter. Uh, here we go, Frankie is going to go ahead for the flank. Oh, but oh. unprepared, uh, having Kavanaugh just taking him out. Planted. Game plant spike for uh, Sushai. Oh, they're, they're, oh. they're running the same play again. They're trying to they're trying to death ball through the spawn. 
Steelers. They got their pick, and they know they know they have the numbers of Venice, so they're just coming back C. No, Evan just getting Last one down. Here we go. Oh, Dude, might be chance for another Ooh. one, but no, they both got taken down. Having uh, black, stay black to just uh, take the round for the win. And that could have been dangerous as well, because uh, Evan found the isolated one v ones for both fights. If he got could have could have had both picks, they they could have uh, lost that round very easily. Uh, here we go. This is the last round for uh, before half. Uh, looks like they're going all in. Here goes the satchel. It looks like um, they're committing very heavily towards the yeah. towards the A side. Oh, fast, fast yeah, the rotation. ulti comes in. Just gonna go ahead and kills a uh, uh, kills Alexis. Oh, they're all pushing now. Nah, they're just pushing all together. There goes for the ulti. Now oh. takes one down. There's one to the trade. One. Cosmos actually taking Evan down. Oh, uh, they found another. There goes Saizu having the heals for D uh, DCMH. Uh, having advantage over there. They, um, now, now um, Black has beat the draw. They're having, they're, having, they're gonna be forced to reclear towards this. If now they're gonna be able. But, uh, I have full control site for A, not only for B, but C as well. Uh, waiting for DCMH. The unfortunate thing about this too is they're, they're stuck having to re-clear all this, especially because uh, Black has conditioned them to watch the push through spawn. What a great stun and gets the assist from Frankie. Planted. Uh, and flash for information. Oh, there goes the alarm for also information for them as well. Having them to have time to position themselves but it looks they're, like they're committing to the death wall again. They, it seems like they like planning for this, for these halls. They just enjoy doing. Uh, it, it's either it's it's either been the mound play, but af after the first few times they've, they've been committing to it. Molly goes go Frankie goes one. Oh, oh and but here's the trade for the Saizu. There goes for the defuse. That's a really good half, eight four half. Four half. And Black Stay. Black's been playing pretty well as well. They they've realized Switching what's working, what isn't working, and they've adapted their their not only their pace but also how they split them up. Um, but let's see where uh, DH ends up for this pistol round. I'd expect I'd expect a similar positioning, um, and. Um, for black to contest this uh, a main as well it seems like uh it seems like uh they're undecided where to send the omen though this is going to be a little bit difficult for um if they ever try to flank frankie is cypher those trap wires they are no joke they will give you intel and basically for whoever's flanking really so it's inter but, it's interesting as well that they decided that two sides could be there you go, they're gonna go ahead and push in. Uh KDN's gonna get trapped like but no tomorrow. Evan gets the kill and so they can get full coverage for uh sight. Sight for free. 5v4, just We have we have the de we have the delayed black uh delayed black flank as well. Oh. Raze gets one, he gets sky. Anavar and Swisha again. Anavar is just on his way. Oh my Ooh, Oh, what a shot. flick on DCMH. Yeah, he's, he's he been... does not know, but Ka Cosmos takes him down. Frankie, on the other hand, will be able to know. Of course not. It's not the reload will be taking a kill. Yes, of course. Of course, Frankie, my boy, is going to go ahead and take the kill. Lost for the round, but it's okay. That's, and that's a, pr that's a pretty, pretty clutch uh, flank from the enemy race. Yeah, he, uh, he waited for the he, he waited for the plant to, uh, plant to go down, and he waited to hear how many were in mound. And once he knew his team was in position to flood into sight, and once they were uh, too, too preoccupied with uh, sight, he got, got in there and he got the pick on this guy. It seems it seems like they're gonna start uh, leaning towards A. Um, this is the same setup that they did last uh, half where. Had two bulldogs on Marshall. Uh, one pistol and another. I respect it, really. Black showing a lot of respect as well to DH. They're not really 
attempting to heavily contest the A. It seems like they favor contesting the B, uh, B control. Spike down A. Careful, no stun from Alexa. They're having full coverage for A, plus B, and C. This is going to be a little bit of a problem. They're all split up too. Um, Alexa is all alone. Yeah, they get a pick. Yeah, DH, DH has to get a pick or two here. Try to even out numbers or just explode on onto the side on contact. Um, it, it seemed like it seemed like Black was expecting on A, but they 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 uh, realized that they started uh, rotating over to C. Thirty seconds left. Last player standing. Don't see CMH. you on the other hand. Go ahead, keep pushing. Not able to. Well, at least able to get one uh one down just to get for a trade. Uh, and is able to. Well, here's a here's a bonus coming out as well. Let's see what the boys can do with yeah, rifles so, in hand. Yeah, not now that their eco round is, they're having a full time advantage to. Uh, <laughs> gotta come back to this. Uh, you gotta be careful with at least uh, Cosmos, in my opinion. So is Griff because uh, they they do run a gun, and Marshall is a danger, especially going through A, it, having it, full uh, hit like, like full coverage. Really. It seems like uh, it seems like they're starting to fight for the A main control now. And I guess they were expecting uh, aggression from DH into A main with rifles, but they've completely circumvented and gone to. DH might have, might have gotten to read, realizing that Killjoy likes to sit on side alone or that like to really rotate towards A. They get the pick on the cross towards A main and they're just starting to move over. Another pick coming out from B main, 5v3, and it's a free free C site. Oh, there's another pick from Evan. Apparently, apparently Suicide said I shot. Okay. Evan, <laughs> it's going to go ahead. Um. Getting healed. Yeah, gets a TP, but DCM just get, uh, takes him down. Oswald's oh, getting fla uh, flashing Alexis. No time. Flashback. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Double <God>. flash, too. <laughs> flashing Alexis, but either way, Alexis still gets the uh, uh, Cosmos taken down. And it's a flawless win uh, for the round for uh, DH Gold. Great play, great play for them uh, for team formation. Yeah, it's especially. Not even just considering the the numbers disadvantage that Black is playing at, just considering the the spammable Yuto from Sky and from Breach that makes it such a hard retake. Uh, it seems like now they're starting to switch uh, Breach and Killjoy. They're maybe expecting a a, a push, so they're just trying to have uh, Killjoy anchor the A. Look, looks like Sushi is gonna go ahead. Man, that's so far. I thought they nerfed that thing. The uh, black. It seems like Black is um, starting to realize that uh, DH likes to play on the extremities. They don't. They don't really like to push through, like into B. They've either they've either pushed C or A main, or they've gone through B to one of the extremities. Um. So they they've. They've uh, split their team 2-1-2. Two, two. Here's a oh, little pick from Kadian onto DH. Seven. Get the plant down, Prowler coming through. Oh, a pick oh, onto Cypher. Reach them, kill Joy. Oh, that's just going to go ahead and take a pick. I'll still flash, both of them are still flash. Side flash coming through. Oh, oh wait, oh, well, they have enough pick. time. Oh, Here goes God. one by two. Side is going to go ahead and take all of them out. Be able to take on the flash, oh, oh. not so. The flick was out, was barely there. Yeah, he flicked. He flicked that uh, flash. Hmm. Great way for Griff to have the defuse with the spike, taking it for the uh, win for the round. That was a pretty close round too, because they. Uh, it seems like Black wasn't expecting the uh, the the flank from uh, from stairs. And they they were able to even out the numbers, but it, uh, that that flick coming through. Yeah, this time it's actually gonna be a little bit difficult for uh, 
eco wise with the black, uh, stay black but either way black, black there's, a da there's a danger with kevin are having the joy but no <laughs> Black, uh, no. black, uh, black swaps uh, Killjoy back to safe site. They brought Breach back to A site. It seems like they're expecting expecting DH to want to lean heavily towards A again. But then we have DH with the read. They they probably understood that uh, that they were going to make that swap and they'd leave uh, E weak. And they're starting to crawl up slow. You have the lurk from DCMH just waiting for information. He knows one's here. For <laughs> oh, he gets the timing. On one. Uh, there you go. Oh, oh, but the trade in, but that's perfect. You know, it's like but it's like a sacrifice exactly from Evan right, right there. <laughs> Bye for upload. Getting some intel. Also, once more. There we go. It looks like they know like who is going where. I like this. I like this position from the omen to play high low with the breach for halls. Oh, what a what a smoke kill. What a smoke kill. Amazing from Alexis. Getting two kills. Frankie also gained uh, the one lurking. What a great play from Alexis. That was pretty cool. So, it seems like... Uh, it, it seems like um, they're... they're Black is uh, willing to leave uh, C open even after the, the round loss. They have Killjoy by herself again on C. They double stack B. Probably just playing for uh, for a fast rotation by stacking two on the B side. Yeah, so but they are they are fighting for A main control. Here comes the stun. Here comes the raise nade. And they are they're already up. Oh, the Do they know that the yeah there was a trade? Yeah, so Shai got a little too aggressive. Ooh, call Hasmos. By oh. one. There goes Frankie getting the kill. Gets the smoke out. Uh, will they know to see Susha? I don't. Not so fast. Oh, Kavanaugh gets the kill. Yeah, they got the big top. Maybe <laughs> Susha is going to go ahead and try to play kid. Well, is this going to be. Caesar aware of the flank as well. Or oh, oh, Griff, my bad. Uh, Saizu is going to go ahead. This is, this is so tough. 1v5. One, <laughs> one one you're in your spawn. You don't really know what's going on. And the sheriff. This is one thing that they do not know. Oh! <laughs> there goes KDN. It's like reacting. At this like scary. Oh, well, they see us there to surprise uh, KDN. Yeah, and at this point, it's such an unfortunate situation. You can't really save there with the sheriff. You just gotta have to. You kind of have to just go for a kill and hope you can pick up a rifle and save that. But then DH, aware aware of his position, gets the kill and doesn't doesn't give him that. It looks like this round they might not have enough money for buying. They they have oh, uh, they have some rifles, but they're 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 um they're kind of forcing. If they uh if Black loses this round, it's it's, <sighs> it's looking kinda, like yeah, it's gonna be really bad. Yeah, it's gonna it's looking really rough for for the next round. Loses. Yeah, but basically, uh, oh, but look at where look at Omen's positioning. He has a he's playing the cross with Fade. Usually stay Flash back work. wins these gam like it's it's such a high gamble for these uh plays that they always keep on doing. They they've won like like four out of five of those uh like uh four spies. Oh, oh yep, there it is. Griff going taking a peek. Oh the size who gets a trade. I think uh I think that was a good kill from uh from Griff to kill uh the breach on the on the Oh tackle. what a save from DCMH Oh wow, the tra the yeah. traders keep on going. Holy, yeah. Saizu's still Equalizing alive. Equalizing their contact. Oh. oh, gets the pick. Wow, Kavanaugh actually gets uh, a headshot from that. Yeah, Black Black was in a prime position to play the cross. I think he got a little too aggressive once he knew that they tapped the bomb in B main. I think if they stayed, let them standing. take the bomb and just let them try to commit to the B, left. they could have gotten at least two or three. He goes with the one v one. Frankie, you gonna go ahead and plant Spike? Yeah, but he he should have an idea. He does not know where Kadian's at. Oh, he will he be seen? Who knows? He has he has his strips gone down as well. Oh, he's going for the ulti. Oh, knows for the peak. Now he's gonna go ahead uh, downs once more. He has an idea. He knows where he's at. Up, Kadian. 
<laughs> and then Frankie's not, Frankie's not even giving him the uh, the chance. He's not even oh, trying to pee. He did not see. But he does know where he is now. Where is it going to be? Oh, oh no way! So KDN gets go gets for the kill and now gets for the defuse. Well, well, you have enough time left. Yeah, so. But unfortunate for Frankie. Yeah, that was a uh, that that was good of him to play play off his trips and need to try not to swing into him. I I think he uh, might have expected it to be half at that point. That's why he swung as early as he did. But that was a uh, still pretty good patience from Frankie. I think Frankie was trying to do that. was actually get the kill already and then run away. I guess. I mean, it, from the way it looks like, he was like rushing in. It, it seems like they're gonna, they're gonna try to bait out this uh, util from May. They're just playing for the contact or to trade the util and maybe get a pick. Breach ulti oh, coming through. Yeah. Mm, there goes breach flash. There's a there's a pick from. Oh, there goes Coward or Cosmos just like taking them. Oh, down and they're, they're, by they're getting pinched from the main. There it goes. There goes Alexis taking the kill, going for trade. What? Susha getting. <laughs> Susha got to go ahead and get the pick. But they're about to get pinched from C Man. Uh, oh, but he's aware. He's aware. Sizu and Frankie just like stuck. Griff, oh, on the trick. other hand, can take yeah. it down. But oh. the, the killjoy is playing it really patient. He's, he's not even trying to peek. ADN's going to go ahead, run away. All of them going to go. <laughs> Rush is it, it, they're going to go ahead and rush in because they know that they're still, uh, that and Scuttle's it, still going. And I don't think, uh, well, only until now with door opening, I don't think he, uh, the Rays heard that they were going up through me. No, I was able to have but, some time. It seems like they're they're just waiting to group up and they're going to try to explode their name. All coming out doesn't, doesn't do that, I believe. But no, not yet. Hmm. Well, comes out, no information. They should hear him now, though, because they're starting to run through. That's one. That's one. Oh, oh, Frankie in the other head. One gets one. a little bit of damage. He's just trying to delay. He's trying to delay those DPs. Oh, no more Uto left. It's just, it's just nothing Taps. but oh, defuse. Oh, good play. What a play. What a play from Saizu getting a kill. Oh, but he loses again. See, in, in that situation, I'm I'm so impatient. Like I I hear the first tap and I'm just swinging for that. I know I'm throwing, but I I'd swing that all day. I'm, yeah. I'm glad I'm glad that uh, Sizer had the patience to just wait out for a couple of taps before he swung out. Well, and and he ha they have enough money to buy another set. Like they've been they've they've been on their way, but now this is like a real struggle for uh, Sizer State Black. Yeah, they barely have money is horrible right now. Yeah, they barely have enough money, so they're actually just like, Wait, waiting out for the breach until it seems like they want to get information on whether they're pushing with the sky flash. Sky flash pops, it doesn't get anybody because of the omen smoke. There goes all of them rushing in. Uh, fall, goal goes, uh, goal goes in goal, <laughs> it all goes in, all goes in. Cosmo's gonna go ahead and snatch you out. Do they not know? Oh, oh. they oh, actually oh, do! Great. <laughs> great save from Alexis. Go ahead, yeah. goes and throws in. Defender of uh, KDN, yeah, he actually KD, throws KD in. Come, no? Oh, but destroyed. Saizu on the other end, getting the flanks too. 2 21. There it is! Alexis going oh. there, rushing in. KDN still now. survives. Three Chelty coming out as well. KDN. Oh, it's going this for the final! Oh, no way! For the final. <laughs> he goes for the knife and goes for the win! Oh, that's so good. The way they, would, the way they ended! <sighs> that's how you. That's so unfortunate. What a cutting way to uh, make a third, <laughs> the third matchup for CSU DH, having to win that way for um, finals. Yep. Congrats to CSU DH Gold. Yep. <laughs> what a great way to play uh, all three matches, staying strong, and also for uh, Sac State Black, like. They did really well too, like really great highlights for them as well. Giving them props. Yeah, I liked uh, I liked um, I liked Black's play style. I think um, specifically I I noted uh, at least last uh, map for Pro. Uh, it seemed like they were a little. Both teams were apprehensive to 
try to push through mid or like maintain mid control and it seemed like uh they defaulted to uh, they defaulted to trying to like five stack and push through Uh, that'll be a 3-0 from CSU DH. Thank you guys for coming and joining in. We're gonna go celebrate now. And we'll um, stay tuned. We're gonna have uh, post-game interviews. Thank you very much. exciting series i know the camera angle is not great we're down here on the end in the broadcast booth i'm still working on some green screen tech with us here um but we have a post-game interview with two of our players who i will let introduce uh shortly here um but first big congratulations to csudh gold this is an excellent series uh looked amazing from camera um and yeah we're just really really proud of you here from csudh uh my name for those of you who don't know is kevin buckmiller i'm the director of esports here at cal state dominguez hills and we'll just go down the line here. We'll start with uh, DC. If you want to introduce yourself, gamer tag, and uh, kind of what you played. Yeah, sure. So I'm DCMH, and I played Smokes the last game, but I pretty much fill for whatever we need. And uh, yeah, and here's my cap. Uh, <laughs> uh, my name's Frankie. I just go by Frankie as my gamer tag. Um, I'm essentially just pretty much just a Sentinel slash Smokes player, um, I, and I IGL the team. Awesome. Well, thank you both for that incredible show. It was mm -hmm. an awesome, awesome game. Um, how are you feeling about it? What, what's the first emotions going through your head? Um, I would say like playing so long and you know getting eliminated in semis last semester, right? And always coming up so short, it, it felt kind of like you know, yeah. like it, it felt finally like like you know finally <laughs> like I finally like finally and like you know I I want to thank you know DC because I remember even last semester I was talking about not even playing anymore, right? Mm -hmm. And him telling me just you know just give it one more shot, I believe, right? And I mean, I, I don't think I win it without DC, and I don't think I win it without my team either. It has to be. I think if if it's anyone but this quarter people, I don't think I win. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Tell it from your side. I feel the same way. Like uh, I definitely was gonna quit after winning my first championship. I think two years ago. So I didn't want to like play anymore. But Frankie asked me to, so I came back. Try to get him a ring, and we accomplished it. So yeah, pretty yeah. happy about that. Awesome. Um, what was kind of the approach for you in terms of preparing for this match? Like, what kind of went into that that preparation? Um, I think the one thing we wanted to prepare, obviously, was um, acknowledging acknowledging who we're going to play against, you know. Um, going into it, we, we understood that they were a really good team. We understood that we can't, like, mistakes that we make will, like, you know, show in the scoreboard. And I think going into it, we talked about, you know, just very basic stuff going again, kind of all, like baby stepping again, talking about defaulting, playing together, going through our equipment and stuff, right? But I think throughout the whole time, throughout the whole preparation, everyone was just very calm. I don't, I don't think a single person was nervous ever. I think for the most part, everyone just, just said we're coming into Monday, right? Mm -hmm. And we're, we're just gonna perform. And that's, I think that our preparation is we're just gonna last minute stuff, right? Just go into it and make them play our game rather than they play theirs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Same kind of thing from your end, or? Uh, yeah, pretty much the same thing. I mean, Frankie's the captain, so he's just going over all the strats and different. Um, defaults we have to do and stuff like that so we just have to take it one step at a time and it all came together at the end so yeah and i like how you mentioned the opponent too uh it is poetic like you said right it's kind of an unofficial rival of ours sacramento state uh it's cal state system still and mm -hmm. uh one of our sister campuses that we do play quite often and we kind of have that rivalry going and like you said to kind of come back is really awesome to see um let's talk about the games themselves here for a little bit a 3-0 which is I didn't expect myself. Like I know we're we're a pretty well-rounded team. Like I, I was expecting a you know that we would do well, but the three zero is is incredible. Um, first game though, threw quite a lead. <laughs> we were up quite a bit, and it ended up going to OT. Um, what do you guys think was the turning point for that? Um, kind of what was the switch that flicked there? Um, I think obviously towards the end we um, we got a little bit complacent. We started um, we pushed out a lot mid. We weren't playing together anymore, right? I think it was more or less like we just got comfortable. Um, we went into we went into overtime and rather than us panicked, I think we just said fine 
Like we we they're winning the rounds because we're giving to them. They're not winning it because you know mm-hmm. they we we didn't believe they were a better team that game, and we just knew that just getting like we're just gonna we just have to pull two rounds, forget about the rest. We forgot about the past mistakes and moved forward. And mm-hmm. uh, I think you know obviously having DC having a lot of experience playing competitive, right? And him just grabbing into overtime and being like it doesn't matter, like it's zero zero. We're going into it and we're winning these two rounds. And then from there we just went forward. Yeah. That's pretty much what I said, yeah. I mean, like, I was playing the worst probably in that game. So, I was like, <laughs> if you're not playing worse than me, what are you talking about? You're fine. Like, yeah. So we just kept our mentality, like, good and just try to close it out at the end, especially after that, you know, little little throw in the middle. <laughs> it's all good, though. That's what it's about, right? It's the persistence through. And we kind of saw that in the game, too, as well, right? We kept a maintaining lead. It wasn't so much like a, a blowout, but it was still there. Do um, you think there was a defining game between the whole series? For either of you, or game. not a, a game. Well, maybe a game, but also maybe a play. Is game. That a it was. Play it as was. Well? It was game two. Um, I remember. I remember we were throwing the way lead, and it's almost poetic because last <laughs> semester we we were up twelve eight, and we lost in semifinals, and that map was the one that changed it, right? So I remember just I remember just panicking and being like, oh, dude, flashback, and then I don't know what round it was, but Seizu just clutched up and won his one v one. And that when he did that, I knew like, oh my god, like it, like we have it in the bag, right? We weren't necessarily. I don't think we were nervous about them coming back because we knew they had ults. Like at one point, they had five, right? Like, so, yeah, they had yeah. five ults, and so we knew that we were just gonna burn, burn, burn uh, ults, right? And eventually, I mean, the last one we saw, Astro Wall, we had Phoenix ult. We knew what we had to do, and you know, we accomplished mm-hmm. it. Yeah. I feel the same way. Us winning Pro was really good because we haven't really played that map too much. Mm-hmm. I would say it's probably our worst map out of the three. So once we won that, I was pretty confident that we would end it in the third game. And uh, I definitely a shout out to Seizu because he was carrying like the second and the third game. Mm-hmm. And he really like he brought us to the finish off. line. Yeah, yeah. Se- Seizu. Se- and I want you guys to know Seizu has never played KJ. Really? He, he, he's the first he, KJ uh, for his, Seizu? Yeah, he, he said last minute. Because we were figuring it out because um, we wanted someone to harbor and it was me and we don't talk about the scoreline in my harbor. <laughs> but fine, fine. but but he was he said I can he's like I like I'll make do with it and I think a lot of things um a lot of people don't even know about Seizu, but I mean he's just a player we tell him to play duelist, he'll play duelist, we tell him to play smokes, he'll play smokes, we tell him to play initiator, he'll play initiator. He's just a very unselfish player. Awesome. Well yeah. that's kinda how the whole team yeah. is, right? The whole team plays very yeah. not selfishly. I feel like everyone's setting each other up basically the whole time. Yeah. So um, last thing I want to end with, uh, any shout-outs, thank yous, anything you want to make? We got the camera here, we got the mic, a- anyone you want to thank? Um, I would say, obviously, I want to thank DC because there was a period of time where I first started where I wasn't starting, and I remember DC saying from the first semester I was here, he's like, I believe Frankie should be starting, and him, just he, he fought for me towards the end, right, and believed that, like, I believe this kid will win, and he took me as, like, a, under his, his wing and really went forward. Uh, I would also I would also like to thank um, honestly I would like to thank everyone everyone from the whole the whole club I think um, during this whole time of the club I didn't receive a single bad message <laughs> everyone just kept on saying we believe we believe so I would say the whole club especially um, Crimson themselves the Crimson team who have their finals tomorrow right they were watch partying today and I know all all of them are just great awesome people right so shout out to them too because they were there I think they were one of our biggest supporters throughout this whole time. Awesome. Yeah, I feel the same way. I uh, have to thank the school and everything for obviously having a club like this for us to participate in and stuff like that. But I thank Frankie for bringing me back for one more uh, one more run. And uh, just the whole team and the whole like uh, CSUDH organization, uh, esports organization. Gotta thank them. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Um, and again, big congrats. And we got nationals coming up now as well for gold. So. Yeah. I believe that starts the next couple of weeks. And mm-hmm. as Frankie had mentioned, we also have uh, the CSUDH Crimson Valorant team will be playing their grand finals. Uh, that will be tomorrow um, at 6.30 against Concordia University. Yes. Um, so yeah, be sure to check back in at that time. But again, thank you both for coming on. Thank you for the interview time. Uh, and a big, big, big congrats to CSUDH Gold for taking home the win. All right, thank yeah. you. And yeah. shout out to our director. Shout out to our director. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. Yeah.